Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you folks doing? Welcome here. Welcome to an absolutely incredible day here on the channel. Today is Con Mania 3. Oh, baby, and it's going to be a massive show. Today is the longest episode in the history of the CMU. You guys are going to love every second of this. So sit back, relax, grab your snacks, grab a drink, do what you got to do to be comfy because you're going to be here for nearly four hours today. Oh, baby, everybody, let's get into this thing because it is time for your Con Man Certified a roll call. So who do we got in here today? We got 2K Dude. How you doing? We got J Money Jeff. We got Lil Cash. We got Trey Lucado up in here. We got ourselves King of Fate. We got Robbie. How you doing? We got Nightmare Inferno. How you doing, my friend? We got Cubs fan up in here. We got Arshi Ghost. We got Text based Wrestling fan. How you doing, Matthew Grantland? Good to see you. We got a Led Thomas. Raphael. How you doing? We got Manuel Pacchio. Christian Vega. Welcome to the stream. We got Super Sub. Nice to see you. Thank you for the five bomb. We got Casey Rose up in here. Ross Blocks, how you doing? We got V Trigger J, Straight of Slade, uh, Chris Bridges, how you doing? We got Kakapopo in here, Ahmed Smiles, nice to see you, Liam Warren, uh, Steve Taylor, and let's go with Cameron Tucker along with Big Tiger. You guys ready? Here we go. Time for the CMU. And I know you're ready. If you are, give me a hell yeah. And you know we need a WrestleMania worthy chant. Con Mania worthy chant. So get on your feet and say it with me. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. C M U. 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 And ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Con Mania. Today on this near four hour extravaganza, we're gonna see 14 matches. Oh baby, we're gonna see the Earn Your Shot Battle Royal. Today, eight men will enter, only one man leaves as the number one contender for a mid-card title. We got friends no more. The battle of AAA, cruiserweight title on the line between a Led Thomas and a Mini. Here we are, we got ourselves a six-way members elimination match. You got Jason Barker defending his title against five other men who will walk out. You got the Hells Demons going one on one as it's Nightmare Inferno versus the Dead Man, The Undertaker. You got a five-way TLC US title match. Pluck7 puts his title on the line against Dave Rule, Brady Ghost, Thunderstorm, and King of Fate. We're out for revenge, aren't we? Ghostface versus Botch Guy goes down here today. And then also on the card, we got ourselves a 15-minute Iron Woman match. Kayla Bernstein, Calla Lily, Becca, Casey Rose, and Wanda fight for the number one contendership. Then we got the Battle of the Cults, Cody Bag, Brandon Harbin, and an unlikely alliance with Exalted One versus the Cult. We got the Falls Count Anywhere, no disqualification, two out of three Falls match for the women's title, Molina versus Rebecca Helfritz. Then we got a first come first serve four way number one contender for the cruiserweight title. Who's gonna answer this open invite? Then we are possibly, maybe, who knows, gonna see Grand Slam Tornicane. It's Mr. Tornicane versus Raul Kapar for the IC title. The four way tag team title ladder match goes on as the Sky Dogs take on the Wolf Pack, the Convicts defend their titles, and the Dynasty are there too. Our main event is going to be Christian Vega versus Steve Taylor inside Hell in a Cell for the world title. And then of course, we have the 20 minute Iron Man match for the WWE title. Will it be Joe Somania? Let's find out right now. The following contest is in Anything Goes Iron Man match and it's for the WWE Championship. Woo! You ready for Joe Somania? Let's get it. Oh, welcome to Con Mania, everybody. Good to see ya. And I am pumped for this show, and you guys should be as well, because it could be Joe Somania. Joe So has arrived. 
WWE title starting off the show 20 minute Iron Man match. Holy. Talk about hype. We do have some donations. I do see them. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, it was super sub. He dropped five earlier and then five after that. And then Casey Wood dropped five. Says hi from the soon to be new members champion. The Lumberjack says Casey Wood. I would roll your donation there super sub. But apparently it didn't, didn't put in didn't go into my little donation box but here we go guys ho 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 you can feel the energy in the air nearly a four hour event today I, there's nothing else to say other than you guys are going to enjoy this today Ready? This man has sparks shooting out of his dick. Oh, baby. And Joso is here at Con Mania. But can he beat the WWE Champion in a 20 minute Iron Man match? This dude has been tearing the house down. He is your WWE Champion. It's Hunter Hand. No con man by his side again. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Answering the challenge from Joso, leaving con man in the back, not bringing him out to the ring. The champ wants to go it alone. The man with the hand of a thousand suns. Your WWE Champion. Alright guys. So, can Joso win this match here against the WWE Champion? Can Joso find a way to dig down deep? Deep, deep down. There's a guy in the background. Yeah! But can he dig down deep and find a way to win this thing? Steve Taylor says, is Iron Man a no disqualification? Yes, this is a no DQ. Falls count anywhere. Iron Man match. Tell me in the live chat though, which match are you most excited for today? Casey Rose dropping a dollar. Thank you so much there, Casey. I appreciate that. Nice little evil face. And the bets are up, my friends. Uh, but we got to get the con coins working. Apparently, the, this has not been working. Let me try this again. Let's fix this poll. Okay. Try it again, everybody. So, do either bet Joseph 5 or bet Hand 5. You have a little bit of time here. But the WWE title is on the line. Oh. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 245 pounds, Joe. There's Joe So. Introducing the champion from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 242 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Hunter. All right, let's roll this five bomb here from Casey Wood. Thank you so much, my man. Hi from the soon to be the new member champ, the Lumberjack. Casey Wood, big words for later today. We will see if that ends up happening. But oh baby, here we go. Let's do this thing. This one should be an absolute knockout. Here we go. 20 minutes on the clock. Referee rings the bell and Joseph's gonna start marching over towards Hunter hand and just delivers a forearm right to his face. But Hunter starts with a arm drag takeover. And remember here, the goal of an Iron Man match is to have more falls than your opponent throughout the entire time limit. 
Picture it like a, a hockey game. Picture it like a, a football game, a soccer game. When the time expires, the team or the person with the most amount of points wins. And that is the exact same here inside. Cloudbot's not working. Sorry, everybody. Apparently, Cloudbot didn't work. Um, let's, let's fix this thing. Let's try this again. But yeah, that's the goal here, guys. All right, so the cloud bot should be working now. Try this again, everybody. Do either bet Joso 5 or bet Hand 5. But now Hunter Hand starts on the outside of the ring, and Joso's in a little bit of trouble. But Joso just gets dropped on the steel steps. The coins still aren't working, are they? Holy moly. Come on, come on, coins. Work. I don't want to be focusing on this. Oh, my God, Joso on the outside of the ring. Joso! Down goes Hunter Hand. The Joso Plex on the outside of the ring. But now Hunter Hand going right back on the offense here. And Hand steps inside the ring after the Joso Plex. And no, oh my God! No, Hunter Hand already, ladies and gentlemen. Hunter Hand with the claw slam. Hunter Hand just hit his finishing move here on Joso. Is he going to get the first fall of the matchup? Count of two. Oh, ho, ho, a kick out. Big kick out by Joso. My goodness, my friends. Two minutes in and Hunter Hand is already dominating this matchup. Joso is going to have to stick around. He's going to have to dig down deep to see what he can do, if he can do anything. Because Hunter Hand is no doubt a very tough individual to fight against. But Joso with a nice deep clothesline puts down Hunter Hand. And now Joso going to go right back to work and going to send him over that top rope and down to the outside. Yes, your con coins are finally working, everybody, by the looks of it. Now Joso picking up where he left off on the outside of the ring and just going to work Hunter Hand. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Um, grabbing him by the pressure point, grabbing him by the back of the neck, maybe? I don't know. Trey Lucado says, I forgot to close the match poll. All right. Apparently I did. Yeah, that's from yesterday. Roll, roll up here from Joso. Count of one. Kick out there by Hunter Hand. Now back into the corner one more time goes Joso, throwing Hunter Hand. Now a kick to the midsection. Here we go. Joso again. Looking to line up a little drive by. This might be enough here for the first fall of the matchup. Joso lining it up. Ladies and gentlemen, Joso. Drive by kick there to Hunter Hand. Slides back inside the ring. And he's going to go down to the cover. This might be enough for the first fall of the evening. Count of two. And a kick out by Hunter. But what else does Joso have? He's got the Joso lock up his sleeve. Make sure you guys leave that like. Joso now going for it. Going for it. No, but Hunter Hand saw it coming a mile away. Counters with a punch in the midsection. Joso went for the knee. Now Hunter Hand right back up. Oh my God, Hunter Hand. No way. Oh my God, the claw. The claw from Hunter. The, the claw is in. Oh my God, Joso. Joso. No. Joso just passed out to Hunter. One nothing Hunter Hand. Oh, now he's going for another claw slam. Reversal from Joso and he stays alive. But ladies and gentlemen, Joso is down one to nothing. He's he's not in control. Hunter Hand, the champion, who has to be beat in this scenario, is up one to nothing. He passed out to the claw slam. The claw hold, but Joso fighting back. Joso Plex delivered. Now Joso back into the corner. What else is he thinking? Joso just going to go to work here on the lower half of the body. Wow. What a start here to Con Mania. Now Joso. What else is he going for? Is he looking for that Joso lock again? Joso kick blocked again by Hunter Hand. And Hunter just stopping him deep in his tracks. Kick to the midsection. Good God, are you kidding? That's it. Brainbuster two. Are you oh, kick out by Joso? I was gonna say, are you kidding me? Joso Mania was almost over, but right now the man with the hand of a thousand suns is dominating. Joso. Joso in a lot of trouble here. 
Hunter reversed by Joso though. Huge reversal. Joso with the right hand. Joso again. Here he goes for the third time of the evening. Already the Joso Plex plants the Hunter hand right down on his face. Now Joso, you gotta stay on the offense. But Joe just gets caught by hand. That's not where you wanna be, let me tell you that. But Joso. Oh no, Hunter Hand, now the comeback begins. This has been one-sided as hell. If this was just a straight-up one-on-one match, Hunter Hand would have already won. It is one to nothing for the man with the hand of a thousand suns, our WWE champion, as he just drives his boot into Joso. But make sure you guys do leave that like. Let's get this up to 100 likes. Hunter Hand goes for a brain buster, but Joso counters that one. Big time counter and a clubbing blow to the back of the head. Come on, Joso! Joso lining it up. Joso! Come on, Joso! Even up the score! You got this, buddy. You got this. Locked in deep right now. Hunter Hand. No escape in the dead center of the ring. Hunter Hand. Mighty pass out. Mighty tap out. What's gonna happen, Hunter Hand? You got the rest of the match to fight. Hunter. Hunter Hand taps out. It's one to one. One to one, baby girl. I don't know why I just called you guys baby girl, but we did. Here we go, though. Joso now. Backing up again. And can Joso hit the knee? Potentially. Oh, wait. Hunter Hand up on the ropes. What's Joso going to do? Joso's going to go flying. Joso's going to go flying. Get ready for a little Joso Mania. Oh, my God. Suicide dive from Joso as Hunter Hand goes cranking off the side of the barricade. Now back down into the cover. Here comes Scott. He's gonna get a workout today. Count of one, count of two. And a kick out by Hunter Hand. Kick out by Hand. We got ourselves a $5 donation from Casey Wood. Can I give your guy the sharpshooter, but I want it to call the lumber lock, please. Uh, does anybody else use the sharpshooter? I would have to double check that man. I think Bishop Robinson might use the sharpshooter for his move, uh, but I will double check that, okay, Casey? Joso, reverse shoulder tackle, reverse there again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hey, nine, man, ten. Can you give my guy the sharpshooter, but I want to call it a lumber lock, please. But now Joso puts Hunter Hand back up to his feet. Hunter Hand counters that one as we're tied one to one here in this Iron Man match. A 20 minute Iron Man match to kick off the show. Now Hunter Hand up on the side, slam and down goes Joso. The midway point of this match, we are at a bit of a standstill. But now Hunter Hand goes for the quick strikes. Can't land that there on Joso. Joso with a forearm there to the face. Punch reversed there by Hunter Hand and back towards it, boom. Hunter Hand sweeps him down, and Hand just goes right back to work, locking in a bit of a side headlock. My, oh my, guys. Today is a stacked card. There's no two ways about it. It is an absolutely stacked show. If you wish to know the card, it is available down in the description below. Now Hunter Hand, though, back on the offense. Hunter, brain buster delivered to Joso. And is Joso Mania coming to a slow end? Does Joso fail? Oh man, busted wide open and we got blood. We got blood drawn for the first time here at Con Mania. Joso, you don't want to be there. No, 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 no. Hunter Hand, claw, slam delivered. Oh, good God, Joso. You're not waking up. Two, two to one for Hunter Hand. Two to one for hand, but now Joso just launches Hunter Hand over the top rope and down to the outside of the ring. You gotta stay on the offense there, Joso. He goes for a quick cover, but he can't get that on Hunter. Joso is down here though in this matchup. Hunter Hand with some right hands to the top of the head and knocking him down off of his feet. Man, look at this, beautiful. Beautiful taunt from Hunter Hand. Getting right in the psyche of Joso. He doesn't want him to... Oh, man. Hang on. Scratch that. Joso hit with a brain buster on the outside of the ring. Are you kidding me? Hand is going for another one. Another claw slam. 
Hunter, don't do it. No, 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 no. The claw. The claw. Joso is caught. Joso is caught. But wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. Joso starting to fight back out of it. Shoves back on her hand. Oh, dear Lord. Now goes for the kick to the midsection, but he can't land it. And back in the ring goes Joso. Hunter just stops him in his tracks. Just like that. And what is Joso going to have to do in order to pick back up another victory? I'm not sure because right now Hunter Hand is a one-man wrecking crew. Look at this ground and pound game from the man with the hand of a thousand suns. Just driving those fists into the cranium. Now lifts Joso back up to his feet. Goes for a side side. Joso counters with a knee to the face. Joso is still fighting with 824 remaining. Joso's not far away. Joso, again another Joso plex. Joso's feeling the energy. Joso's feeling it, man. Joso's got to close in on another fall. Can he do it? He's got to lock in the Joso lock. But welcome to the stream, everybody. It's good to see you. Make sure you drop that like. Let's reach 100 likes. I know we can. But now Joso lining up the lock again. Joso with a kick to the midsection. Can he lock it in? Yes, he does. Joso lock is in. Will Hunter Hand tap out here again? Will Hand give up the fall? Will we have a tie game? Hunter is caught again. Hunter caught Joso. Can't get him. Oh, but he has to release the hold. Joso runs out of energy to maintain the hold. Now drags him back towards the center of the ring. Gonna go down to the cover. Is that enough? Count of one. Count of two. Hunter kicks out of that one. Oh. But Joso, you gotta hit another big move, dude. You got something up your sleeve. He turns him over. Single leg Boston Crab. He's gonna make him tap. There it is. Even game. Even damn game. Two to two with seven minutes remaining. Clothesline from Joso puts him down. Oh, baby, it's two to two. But a back body drop right there from Hunter Hand. He tapped to a single leg Boston Crab. What does that tell you guys? That tells you that the damage is being done in this matchup. That Joso is doing what he needs to do. Hunter Hand is weak at this moment. He is willing to be able to tap out to just a move like a single leg Boston Crab. Oh baby, now up to the top rope, Hunter Hand telling him to get up. Joso, up to his feet, and Joso just gets caught with a double axe handle. How you doing there Lux7, good to see you. Now Hunter with the quick strikes, you're kidding me. Hunter Hand just clocking Joso. Back elbow there from Joso. Now Joso sends Hunter Hand into the corner. Joso with the knee to the midsection and that meets its mark. Shoulder tackle from Hand. And yes, if it ends in a tie, Hunter Hand retains his title. Joso has to beat the champion. With five minutes and 50 seconds remaining, two to two everybody. Now Joso sends him up over his back. Remember, if you're enjoying the show and you wish to show your support here for Con Mania, make sure you drop a little super chat. Oh man, here we go, up and over, and down goes Hunter Hand. Hunter in a lot of trouble. Hunter Hand in a lot of trouble. Off the Joso Plex, is that gonna be enough? Joso, one, two, Hunter! Oh, kick out by hand. But Joso wants to hit the knee. Joso going for that oh so knee. The oh so painful knee, oh my god! Into the face, that's gotta be enough, take the lead! Two, no! Five minutes remain. And Hunter Hand knows that he has to be beat. Joe so drops the knee. But Hand no sells, Hunter Hand no sells. And he's just gonna bide his time a little more. Sending him to the outside of the ring as Joseph's head, I believe, might have smacked off the side of that steel. Now being helped back up to his feet. Hunter Hand, no way! Hunter Hand goes for the claw slam. Joso countered that. Down goes Hand again. What a match, everybody. This is freaking awesome. But reversal there. Hunter goes for a right hand to the face. Can't hit the double axe handle. Joso puts him down on the top of his head with four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Hee <laughs> hee. Now on her hand lifted up. Joso again. Joso on the outside of the ring. Joso Plex. Joso's got to be closing in. Come on, Joso. 
backing it up. Joso looking for the knee one more time. Oh, so painful knee. Uh oh, sidestep by Hunter. Reversed again, though, by Joso. He saw it coming from a mile away. Sidestep, three minutes and 52 seconds remain. Hunter hand now counters. No, Hunter, no, 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 no. Claw slam to Joso. Three to two for Hunter. With three minutes and 33 seconds left, Joso is down. Joso's got to get two falls, man. That's got to be it. Hunter Hand's going to retain the title. Back over the top rope, though. Joso has got to go quick. He has got to go so quick, everybody, with three minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Joso now up to the top rope and dropping the knee there on Hunter Hand. Stomp to the midsection. He's got to do it, man. He's got to do it. Hunter Hand, though, in a lot of trouble. Joe Soplex. Joe Soplex to Hunter. Joe Soplex, this has got to be it. Joe So to tie up the game with two minutes and 55 seconds remaining. One, two. Oh my God. Tie game. Tie game. Joe So can do it, everybody. Two minutes and 48 seconds remaining. Joe So has got to get one more fall here on Hunter Hand in order to beat the champion. No, but Hunter's just going to stall. Hunter's just going to stall, throwing him down to the ground. Stomp right there to the knee. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Hunter, no, 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 no! Brain Buster! Oh, good God! But wait a second, I think Joso just reversed the claw slam. He just reversed the claw slam. Come on, Joso! STO! STO! Joso's getting desperate. Down to the cover. Joso's gotta beat the champion. One! Two! Kick out by hand with two minutes remaining. Joso's got to pick up the victory. Tied 3-3. Three to three. He has to beat the champion. Joso! No! Blocked right in your living room. Joso! No! Oh, claw! Slam from Hunter Hand. A minute 40 left. One, two, Hand just sealed the deal. Hand just sealed the deal. Four to three for Hunter. Four to three for Hunter. Joso, though, has got to fight back, man. Don't give up. Minute 22, Joso. Just keep fighting, Joso. Kick right there. You got to go for a big pinfall, man. You got to go for it. Stomp to the midsection from Joso and just steps over top of Hunter. And you got to go for it. Kick to the back. You got to go for it. He goes down to the cover here yet again. Is this enough? Count of one. No, Hunter Hand staying alive. Demanding his title remains around his waist. A minute left, everybody. Hunter Hand is up four to three. Hunter with a right hand. Joso counters back, though. Back and forth we go. Joso. Joso Plex. Joso Plex. Oh my God. Joso Plex. 46 remaining. 46 seconds remaining. Come on, Joso. Don't waste any more time. Joso throws him back inside the center of the ring. Joso, you gotta get back to it. Joso gonna take to the skies. Don't be an idiot, you. Joso, no. Hunter Hand sidesteps him. Hand. No! Claw slam to Joso. One, two, five to three. And Joso, no chance. Joso, though, floats over. DDT as he still fights. Damn it. No Joso mania. But he wants to make sure everybody remembers him. He's lining up the knee. Joso at the knee. But it doesn't matter. Little, too little, too late. Hunter Hand is still the WWE Champion. What a match. But Hunter Hand has done it. Hunter Hand has retained the WWE title and Joe Soulmania is no more.
My oh my, everybody. Wow. What a start here to Con Mania. Hey, Lock7, thank you so much, buddy, for the four or five, 45 bomb. But now it is time for the Earn Your Shot Battle Royal. It's time for El Idolo, Jonte Burner. From Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Holy moly. Well, Lux7, that is incredibly kind of you, buddy. I hope you're doing well here today, or at least doing better. It says, welcome to Lucha Mania. I mean, er, I mean Con Mania. <laughs> Damn it, it's gonna be a freaking Lucha. So earn your shot. If you win this match, my friends, you earn an opportunity at a mid-card title. It's of your choosing. So best of luck to everybody in this matchup. Thank you so much there, Luck7. We're going to roll the 45 bomb, even though... Uh, uh, I can't believe I got to listen to this damn thing during Pogmania. Lucha! 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 Oh, I danced too early. Lucha! Dance too early again. There it is. Welcome to Lucha Mania Air, I mean Con Mania 3. Started dancing a little too early. But anyways, here comes a former million dollar United States champion. It's the leader of the rapture. It's the villain. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And from your darkest fears. Lux7 says Con loves the Lucha. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I love the 45 attached to it. The Lucha I could mega live without. <laughs> Hunter Hand says best match of my career. You know what, man? It's hard to argue that. An incredible match that you certainly proved the world that you are the WWE champion for a reason. Hunter Hand, congratulations, dude. You did it without Con, man. You did it without anybody by your side. Uh, and you won that thing almost as clean as clean gets. Five to three over Joso in the opening match. Hey. On her hand, dominant as hell. You can say all you want who you wanted to win. The reality is on her hand beat his ass. You guys ready? For Valhalla, it's Cameron Bray. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Cameron Bray. Say it. Great, 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 great. And man, Cameron Gray looking solid on his way down to the ring. Big Tiger says Cameron Gray is still looking for that big break. He is, isn't he, everybody? He had a little bit of a run when he first arrived, but then he's, oh my God, no! He looks hot today. Oh my, Jordan Coggle gonna get an appearance at WrestleMania. Are you kidding me? Jordan Coggle with the grand WrestleMania entrance. Holy moly. And from Scottsdale, How did they Arizona, set that up so quick? Weighing in at 179 pounds. Freaking Jordan Coggle dancing his way down to the ring. Damn, everybody. Jordan getting an opportunity here at Con Mania. He looks hot today. And oh, he's gonna dance his entire way down. Wait a second. No way, is he gonna leap in? Look at this to the side. Don't tell me, did he bring his little silhouette to Con Mania? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he did. He looks hot today. Hey, Shane the Gamer's gonna be in this battle royal. Okay. And from St. 
one of the most popular superstars in the CMU, Shane. All right. And the field gets deeper, doesn't it? Gets a little deeper. We got ourselves a $5 donation here from Nightmare Inferno. Thank you so much, buddy. I hope you're doing well on this Thursday. Watch your back, Hunter Hand, because you never know when your worst nightmare is lurking in the shadows. Damn. Nightmare Inferno sending a bit of a message to the WWE Champion after his successful title defense. But if you guys have not done so, please make sure you leave a like on this video, also making sure you are subscribed to the channel. Oh no, the mood just changed. Rob. And from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 300. Oh, holy pounds, everybody. Robert Briggs. Robert Briggs on his way down to the ring. Dude, this man might be the favorite to win this battle royal, the earn your shot battle royal. I don't know who's going to be able to toss this man over the top rope. Is Robert on the juice? Some people are asking. We'll have to we'll have to get him a test, won't we? Hey, what? Retro to man! Ladies and gentlemen, Retro to Man's gonna get an opportunity! Alright! Weighing in at 200 pounds. Got your luck, Seven. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, dude. I've got I've got nearly uh <laughs> I've got three hours and eighteen minutes more of entertainment coming your way today so hopefully that will be more than enough to distract you for a little bit freaking retro to man getting an opportunity here in the battle royal could it be retro mania oh maybe not oh maybe not oh this is a big battle royal it's Crossbow! And their opponent from Norman, Oklahoma, weighing in at 200. What the frig? Billy Kay and Mickey James just got released. What the actual frig? Billy Kay and Mickey James just. What? I am not lying. What the actual frig? Billy Kay and Mickey James released. Wasn't it one year ago to the day that it was Black Wednesday on uh, when WWE released all those superstars? Or was that yesterday? Something like that. Almost one year ago to the day. They're doing more, more of their cuts. They literally cut Billy Kay and Mickey James. What the frig? Oh my god, there's more WWE releases coming. Guys, there's more WWE releases coming today. Holy crap. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it, okay guys? Sorry, we're gonna... Sorry guys, I'm a little distracted. I know that this is Con Mania and this is big for our channel right here. Um, I cannot confirm the Carmella thing, okay? I can't confirm the Carmella thing. 
Anyways, let's uh, we'll, we'll check in on it, okay, guys? But let's focus here our attention to this matchup. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you can. Holy moly. Okay, so. Shane the Gamer on the far side there with Jonte Burner. And Jonte now just gets taken down. Or sorry, Jonte takes down Shane, I should say. And then look at Jordan Coggle on the far side. Villain. Oh no, Jordan, no! Jordan Coggle's the first one out. And just like that, Jordan Coggle has been eliminated. He got his entrance. At the bare minimum, he got his full entrance. But dude. Briggs, Briggs, a camera, oh my God. What, Robert Briggs? Cameron Gray just eliminated Robert Briggs. The favorite to win this battle royal. Cameron Gray pulled the top rope down and Briggs just went flying over top. Are you kidding me? Briggs right over top. Cameron Gray pulling down the top rope and the favorite is out of there. Holy moly. Now Cameron Gray focuses attention towards Retro Demand and Shane the Gamer focusing on Crossbow Villain and Jonte going to work here. Now Cameron sent off the ropes by Retro. Retro catches him, but Cameron sends him down into the mat. Chelsea Green, Wesley Blake, and Tucker have been released by WWE. Are you actually flipping kidding me? They released Chelsea Green. Tucker's been confirmed now. Wesley Blake has been confirmed. Holy moly. Now here we are. Kick to the midsection from Shane the Gamer. And crossbow in a little bit. Of, wait a sec. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, Cameron Gray! Cameron! Cameron! Just eliminated crossbow! You oh, and then Retro with a super kick eliminates villain. We're down to the final three. Wow, all of a sudden Cameron Gray has eliminated the two biggest men in this matchup. Cameron, dude. Cameron having a moment tonight at WrestleMania, at Conmania. But Shane the Gamer and Retro the Man going to continue to fight things out here as we are down to our final three. Kick to the midsection. Shane, butterfly bomb to Retro. Oh, ho, ho. Sam says this is more exciting than the same show. I'm glad you're excited, man. I have no clue who's going to win. Cameron Gray, though, goes right back after Retro to Man. And Cameron Gray gets taken down by Retro. Shane the Gamer tries to go back on the offense, but Retro to Man sees an opportunity to punch him right in the face. Now Retro to Man trying to eliminate Cameron. And Shane the Gamer is going to try to eliminate Cameron. Cameron holding on for dear life. Gray... Sent over the top rope, Cameron hanging on. Both men trying to just shove him out of the ring, but Cameron continues to fight. Kick to the face, punch to the leg, and now Cameron is back inside the ring. Come on, Gray. Now Retro to Man in a lot of trouble. Cameron Gray gonna pick him up and slam him down on the back of his head. Then he sees his opportunity, he goes after Shane the Gamer, but Shane grabs him by the head and snaps him down into the mat. Back up to his feet again, Shane the Gamer. Looking for another butterfly. Butterfly backbreaker. Now into the corner goes Shane. Close line over the top. But Cameron Gray turns it around. Retro to man hit with a power slam right on his knee. And oh my god, Shane the Gamer, sorry, I didn't realize Shane the Gamer's been eliminated. I just realized I said he went over the top without actually acknowledging he went over the top. Cameron Gray now though, Cameron, oh, Retro to Man lands on his feet. Cameron Gray though right back on the offense again. Retro to Man hanging on for dear life. Retro to Man. Hanging on, who's gonna win? Is it gonna be Retro or is it gonna be Cameron? Retro could get his Conmania moment. 
He could get his moment in the CMU, the breakout moment that he needs. Retro and a man continues to fight. What an underdog story this would be. Retro with a punch. Cameron Gray doesn't want to be there. And now Retro to man is going to try to get sent over the top rope. Oh God, Kalisto's been released as well. Cameron back inside the ring. Cameron Gray, form right to the middle of the back. Shot to the midsection from Retro Demand. Cameron Gray with an uppercut attempt, but he can't catch that as Retro Demand just gets sent down into the mat. Stomp right there. Cameron Gray reverses it. Chop to the chest. Nobody home. Retro Demand catches that forearm right to the face. And now look at this. Beautiful move. Cameron Gray down goes Retro. Retro to man in a lot of trouble. Hanging on for dear life. Is Cameron Gray going to become a number one contender? Is he going to get a shot at any mid-card title? Cameron Gray hanging on. Retro shoved out. And ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Gray has earned his shot. Wow. Big win for Cameron Gray. Dear Lord, my friends. Big time win for Cameron Gray. I, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm a little Here distracted. There's just a lot of news going on in the world of wrestling with the releases right now. I'm a little sad for the people getting released. We are going to try to keep your guys' attention on the CMU. Um, but, yeah, it might be a little difficult. More releases to come in the WWE likely today. But congratulations, Cameron Gray. Are you ready for the Cruiserweight title? I am. It's time for a midi, a midi, a midi. And he's got his blue jacket back on. Different version of it, but it's back. Trey says, hold on. Sean Ross tweeted that WWE signed Chelsea Green to a new contract months ago. Yeah, and then released her today, which is what he was talking about. Is that it's ridiculous that they released her after signing her to a new contract a few months ago. But congratulations to everybody on tuning in to Con Mania. I don't know why I said congratulations, but welcome to tuning in to Con Mania. Nice to see you. But now it's time. It's time for a lead Thomas. This man owns the cruiserweight division. I, 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 I came to collect. Yes, Lauren Brindle, we pointed that out. Holy moly. What a big fight feel. You ready for the Cruiserweight title? So everybody, here's the thing. If you're upset about the releases, try not to focus on it. We still got ourselves a, a three hour and six minute show ahead of us, okay? So lots of time to take your mind off things. Forget about the releases, okay? Forget them. Take them off your mind, all right? And let's focus on Con Mania today. We can talk all about the releases at a later time. No need right now. Nothing we can do about it. Let's focus on Con Mania. Because I, 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 I came to collect. So we are now going to get a poll going asking you guys who will win. It's either going to be a lead Thomas or it's going to be a mini. Introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, weighing in at 196 pounds, the anomaly.
Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Thomas. There's a lead Thomas. Get your guys' bets in. Do either bet a lead five or bet a midi five right here. Here we go. Does a midi get his revenge? Or does a lead prove to the world that he is truly the best? And a midi right out of the corner with a hurricanrana and then a kick right there to the face area. Down goes a midi to start things off. There's a right hand there from Amity, but throws a lead Thomas into the corner, and there's a hard chop. And Amity taking the fight immediately to his AAA brethren. Oh, and then takes down the referee. His former AAA brethren, we should say. But now Amity sends him down deep arm drag. A lead Thomas here in the live chat says, I made Amity relevant before coming to AAA. He was on a losing streak. I made this guy's career. That's what you like to say, eh, Aled? That's what, like, that's what you like to believe, is that you made this man's career. Oh, ducking underneath the Hurricanrana was Aled Thomas. Beautiful reversal. Now slides down the back. Amidi off the ropes. Hurricanrana down. Goes Aled yet again. And Amidi is going to take to those Hurricanranas quite often tonight, I believe. Now he goes to the outside of the ring here at Con Mania. But just gets sent back inside the ring. TCS Gaming asking any matches that you've missed. We've been live for about uh, 52 minutes now, so you've missed a handful of matches, but there's still lots to come. If you want to know where we're at in the card, you can always take a look down in the description below. That has the entire card with the match order, and you can see where we're at. Aled Thomas drops his knee, but Amidi moved out of the way. Now Amidi back up to his feet. Amidi went for maybe a neck breaker, but Aled Thomas counters that with a clothesline. Back up to his feet. Amidi quick turnaround, deep into that neck breaker DDT. Now Amidi's going to roll to the outside of the ring. And we've seen this before from Amidi. He wants to hit the rolling neck breaker. Amidi lining it up. Can he hit it? Aled in trouble. Oh, no. Aled Thomas catches him, bouncing out of that roll through and hits him with a deep clothesline. Now Aled Thomas going to counter it right into the Aled agree. Can he hit it? Yes, he can. Down goes Amidi. Is that enough count of one? No, it's not. Just a one count. A lead, just gonna step over and kick him in the side of the head. Now down to the cover yet again, but kick out by a lead's opponent in a midi. A midi's gonna choose to fight in this matchup. He's not going away easily, no doubt in my mind. A midi wants to win that cruiserweight title, but imagine a lead Thomas seeing the amount of people that have turned on him. Remember, people used to be so hot for a lead, and now they're just like, just because a midi happens to be the good guy. Aled's like, dude, you're, you're forgetting all about me. Wait a second, Amidi tries to take him up, but a boot to the face from Aled Thomas stops him in his tracks. Now back there into the corner, Aled with another boot to the side of the head. Aled back into the corner, and Aled's gonna go for a murder suplex. Oh, he's going up. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed a murder suplex. Oh. My God, the crowd goes whoa. Now back up to his feet. A lead Thomas somehow walking after that murder suplex. That does a lot of damage to you as well. But then back in the ring he goes, slides back in there. A lead Thomas, cat caught by a midi. Caught by a midi, deep neck breaker down into the mat he goes. And a midi, come on dude, stay on the offense man. Stay on the offense. Don't let up. Oh, but a lead Thomas catches him and now throws him back into the corner. This isn't good for a midi. This is not good for a midi. High knee from a lead Thomas catches him. Back up again. A lead looking for a 
Thomas! Oh my god, what a falcon arrow suplex! I don't even know what to call it, but Aled Thomas just smoked him off the top rope. Now lining up the blind side. Don't tell me, don't tell me, no way, no way! Blind side kick! That might be it. One, two, oh! Kick out by a midi. And Amity is still in this thing. Not going away easily. Back up to his feet. Amity. But runs into a back elbow from a lead Thomas. Double leg takedown and just some punches to the face. At this point, I'm going to say it. A lead Thomas is semi dominating Amity. Not fully. This has not been a completely one sided match. Oh, but now he's going to lock in the walls of Amity! Using his own submission move against him. The walls of Amity is locked in deep. Amity, though, found the way out. He's the master of that move. The walls of Amity, man. Back elbow, though, from Aled Thomas. Then back into it, into the corner. Aled runs after him slowly, but Amity reverses that. Now Amity's going to look to do this move in the corner. Remember, both of them have huge maneuvers out of the corner. I think Amity's got the Spanish fly, and Aled Thomas has the explosive paralyzer. Both of them will be looking to use it here during a match of this magnitude. But back into the corner again. Amity looking to bring the fight again back to Aled Thomas. Knee to the face from Aled. Punch the face as well, and that's going to do some damage. Now Aled grabs him by the back of his neck, looking to put him over into the corner. Face first, down he goes. Aled reversed by Amity. Man, back and forth they go. Like I said, they really want to hit these corner moves. Now Amity has him up into the corner. Amity, though, gets reversed by Aled Thomas. And Aled Thomas is immediately going to go back into the corner again. Aled looking for the explosive paralyzer, but he can't hit it. Amity, these two guys know each other so well. Back and forth we go. Amity now back into the corner. Come on, somebody's got to hit it. Oh, but reverse DDT there from Aled. Dear my oh my. Back into the corner one more time. Aled Thomas runs into a back elbow. Up and at him. Drop kick and down he goes. Jason Barker says, sup con, sup Jason. How you doing today, man? Did you get a good sleep last night? Uh, you, I know you've been working so hard. Did you get a good sleep? But wait, a midi. A midi's going to go up. Hangs him down with a DDT. Hangs him down. I've never heard that saying before. We're going to use it, though. I like it. Hangs him down. Cool. But a midi backing up. Wait a second. Almost like... Almost like he has a little bit of remorse. Wait, is remorse starting to set in? You did your 10-hour shift already today. Jason, you home now, though, man? You home for the day? Now I'm just going to stretch him out. It's almost like there's a little bit of remorse setting in here for a midi. I don't know how else to put it. Like, he can't believe he's fighting with Aled. Aled, though, takes full advantage and sends a midi into the corner. Subcon. Aled, though. No way, is Aled getting desperate? Aled Thomas, no! Ref, look up! Ref, look up! Left, ref, ref, no! Kick out by a midi! This thing stays on. This thing's still going. Amity now going to turn him around into the Amity bomb to the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Aled. Holy high hurricanrana, though. Aled Thomas puts him right back down. And you feel like Aled Thomas is signaling the end. Cutthroat. Amity getting back up to his feet. Aled looking for the final blow. Went for the blindside kick. Reversed there by Amity. Amity now going to turn him around. Amity. German suplex down goes Aled Thomas. But again, remorse. It's setting in. Amity doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know. Should he keep dealing out this much damage to Aled? But the time he took... Not good enough in Saguri from Aled Thomas. And now Aled Thomas is going to take to the skies. Wake up, Amity. Wake up, Amity. Amity! Moves out of the way of the coup de grace. Amity, German suplex there. Into the cover. Kick out, though, by Aled Thomas almost immediately. Stomp to the middle of the back. And now Amity's going to take to the skies. Wait a second. No, Rev. Changing his mind? No, now Amity. Going to ascend to the top rope, potentially. Amity! Look at a fly! Hurricane! No! Caught! Power bomb! Jackknife cover one! 
two. You're kidding. Oh, kick out by a midi. Holy moly. No, Aled. No. Oh, my God. Aled with a modified version of the Aled agree. One, two, and still, your cruiserweight champion. Wow, um, wow, is all I can say. Congratulations to Aled Thomas. I'm really not looking to focus on the releases here today, guys, just because this is Conmania, and it's going to be so distracting in the live chat, and it's going to take us completely out of it. I will address this right here because I think I need to. People are uh, talking all about it in the live chat, and it's very, very, very uh, distracting from what's going on on the show. Yes, Samoa Joe has been released. Yes, Chelsea Green has been released. Yes, Billy Kay has been released. Yes, Bo Dallas has been released. Um... Yes, it sucks. Yes, Kalisto has been released. Um, yes, it, it all sucks. It, it really, really sucks. I would like to be able to focus on it. I would like to be able to talk about it. We can do all that tomorrow during Friday. Smackdown, when we have more details, okay, guys? When we know why, the reasoning, and all of that. Peyton Royce? Where'd you hear Peyton Royce? I don't know about Peyton See, this is, I'm just, I, see, I can't talk about it. I, no, I got a show to talk about here, guys. I'm sorry. I would love to be able to talk about the real-life stuff, but this has been a show I've been building to for a year. I don't want to screw this up. So here we go, my friends. We got ourselves Casey Wood on the way down to the ring right now. Yeah, we can talk about it during Minecraft tomorrow. We can talk about it during SmackDown. We can talk about it all then, okay? It sucks, everybody, but let's focus on this show. This match right here is a six-man elimination match for the member's title. No, I will not do a stream on it after Con Mania. No, it, it sucks, guys. It sucks that there's releases going on. But let's and introducing the challenge okay. from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 266 pounds, Jordan Williams. So this is Jordan Williams. Thank you, Marco Jacobs. Lock7 says this has the potential to be the best CMU ever. Sit back and enjoy. Damn all right. Seriously, guys, this has a uh, this is mega mega potential. Just you wait. Our main event still to come tonight, guys. There's so much still to come. This is only our fourth match of the evening. Okay, only the fourth match of the evening. We have two hours and 51 minutes remaining. Still to come. Nightmare Inferno versus Undertaker. Lock 7 defends his US title in the TLC five way match. Ghostface versus Botch Guy. Becca versus Casey Rose versus Cal Lily. Wanda versus Kayla Bernstein in a 15 minute woman Iron Man match. 
15 minute Iron Woman match is what I meant to say. Cody Bag, Brandon Harbin, and the Exalted One versus the Cult. Molina versus Rebecca Helfritz. Two out of three falls. No DQ. Falls count anywhere. Fatal four way number one contender cruiserweight match. Raul Kapar versus Mr. Tornicane. Convicts versus Skydogs versus Dynasty versus Wolfpack in a four way ladder tag team title match. And Steve Taylor versus Christian Vega inside Hell in a Cell in the main event. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Kevin. So much to come. Make sure you guys leave that like on the video, though. We have 130 watching. I know we can get more than that. How you doing there, Lou Dog? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. But can Kevin Langoff recapture his member's title? What a hot potato it's been for the member's title. Bouncing around most of these guys in this matchup at some point during their career. I believe Jordan Williams is the only man who has not... Oh, wait, no, Jacob Toon as well. Who have not held on to the title. Again, I know you guys are upset about the releases, okay? I understand. Let's try not to distract from this show going on right now. Because this is con mania, man. Oh, you hear the boos? Do you hear the boos for the members champion? It's Jason Barker. Not that I know of, Lux 7. Yeah, not that I know of at all. That would be cool if I ever saw that come across. Dale Jr. says, Con using WrestleMania 32 logo. Yeah. Yes, I am. But man, can Jason walk out of Con Mania still holding on to his member's title? This is going to be one of the toughest fights he has ever had. This is a six-way elimination match. He's got to survive all the way to the end. But this is going to be another individual who tries to take that title away from him. It's the perfect Nan, Nathan Barker. Chant it with me. Nan, 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 Nan. Nan, 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 Nathan Yeah, we're just not talking about it right now, Nicholas Smalley, because it's too distracting from the CMU. Dale says, Con, I honestly thought you were going to make your own WrestleMania logo, but I guess not. Take a look at the thumbnail. I, I did, kind of. It just, it's not super aesthetically pleasing in the game. Yeah, it's on the thumbnail. It's just, it's and not in the game. The challenger from Nashville, Tennessee. How was my mindset today? Good, I'm pumped Jacob. here for the CMU. I really wish that we would be paying more attention to it because I spent uh, a lot of hours on it, but yeah. <laughs> but Jacob Toon on his way down here to the ring. And Jacob has an opportunity to be a members champion for the first time in his career as well. This is gonna be good. Make sure you leave that like, show that support. If you guys would like to, you can always drop a super chat donation. Doesn't matter how much or how little, any little bit is appreciated. You're really gonna miss your match, eh, Peyton Cash? Wow, all right, buddy, all right. 
Here we go, though. Let me know who do you think is going to win this matchup. Say their name in the live chat. Here we go. Six-person elimination matchup. And Kevin Langham, oh my god, Kevin Langham's going to start things off against Casey Wood. Right there, going for a murder suplex. Kevin Langhoff hits the murder suplex on Casey. Yeah, but you're missing it live. It's con mania, Peyton. Oh, man, referee has been taken down. Oh. Jason Barker now going for a suplex here on Jacob Toon. And look at this, the captain's hook. Captain's hook on Casey Wood. Casey Wood might have to tap out. Oh, Casey finds his way out of it. Man, oh man, lots of action to keep your eyes on. Remember, it is an elimination match. Whoever eliminates the person, I mean, if the person gets pinned, they're out of the match. And the last person to win, I don't know what I'm saying. Let me try to rephrase that. The last person to survive wins the match. There we go, easy. Oh, Jason Parker with a pile driver to Jordan Williams, his tag team partner. And it looks like the coalition is going to go to battle right now. Oh, my God. Look at the submission move. Parker's got it locked in on Williams. Is Williams going to tap out? No. Williams finds his way out of that submission move. Kick right there to the middle of the back. Williams, though, just gets his knee driven into him. Jordan, now Jason Barker back on the offense. Very crazy that these guys are fighting each other. And then Jacob Toon on the outside of the ring takes down Nathan Barker. And Kevin Langhoff continues to work on Casey Wood on the close side here. Hey, Tim. Dude, I, I, oh my God, one sec. Punishment driver. I hate that I got to keep bringing it up or whatever. I, it's frustrating as hell. Okay, trust me. I don't like it either. Two. Kick out by Barker. I don't like it either, but you got to stop doing these passive aggressive things that are trying to start things in the chat, whether it be with MIDI or whether it be with, with Ghost. I, I, we just can't do it, man, okay? I know you want to have fun. Have fun in a way that isn't going to be purposely antagonistic towards people, if you can, all right? I, I love chatting with you. I do not want to have to remove you from this chat. I really don't want to, but this is probably about the fifth or sixth time we've talked about this. All right, and it's just changed the person. So please, man, please, okay? But look at that, Casey Wood has been eliminated. Casey Wood eliminated. Yo, Casey's not going to do that. No, he's being serious, Ghostface, I, I get it. I do get it. Y you've been a little misleading over the last last little bit. So I get it, but we can't be that antagonistic towards each other in the chat. We just can't. STW Jack says, uh, just here to say that your con mania is very entertaining. To be honest, it's more entertaining than the last three WrestleManias. Thank you, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But Jacob Toon now going to work on the champion. Jason Barker, you do not want to be there. Nathan Barker back inside the ring. And take a look, Jordan Williams yet again. Yet again. Fighting with his coalition member. But Williams punches him to the side of that. And the clubbing blow puts down Jason Barker. And now Nathan Barker going to be sent outside of the ring as well. So I cannot believe that Williams and Barker are fighting this much during this match. Williams wants to pin Barker. Are you kidding? Count of one. Count of two. Jason just kicked out and he's still alive. Nathan Barker, though, taken down by Toon. Kevin Langhoff goes right back after Nathan Barker. Remember the rivalry they had, but Barker with a back body drop. Now Jacob Toon. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, look at Jacob Toon. Jacob Toon, power bomb to Nathan Barker. And Williams in the center of the ring with the fist of fury to Jordan Williams' his tag team partner. Okay, completely heard there, Tim Sullivan. If we can leave it at that, that would be amazing. I hear you, and um, that'd be amazing if we can leave it at that point. Thank you so much for your viewership, and thank you so much for understanding, buddy. 
Okay, but I do not want to see it anymore, okay? If we can just work on that. But off the tune-up, Kevin Langhoff, is he going to steal the victory? Nathan Barker's down off the tune-up, into the cover, one, two, Kevin Langhoff just stole the victory and Nathan Barker's been eliminated. Oh my god, back inside the ring, Jacob Toon, Toon, with another, tune up to Williams. The tune up to Williams, into the cover, one, Two, Jordan kicks out of that one. And Jason Barker just gonna flip us all off. But now Jacob Toon again, back on the offense, looking for another tune up, going for another one. But Jordan Williams counters that one with some punches to the face. Shot there to the face as well. Elbow there. And a shot to the back of the head. My good God, everybody. Look at the fight that is going on here. Jacob Toon now lifts up Jordan Williams, but Williams counters that one. And Jason Barker in the center of the ring here. Oh no, Kevin Langhoff. Kevin Langhoff's in trouble. Alabama slam. The Southern slammer. And Williams just hit the vertebraker. Two kick out by Langhoff. And now Williams down into the cover. Is that going to be enough? Toon in trouble. Two, the vertebraker's enough to put him away. And Jacob Toon has been eliminated. We are down to three. Who is going to become the member's champion? It's either going to be Kevin Langhoff, Jordan Williams, or the current champion, Jason Barker. Big boot knocks them both down. Now Williams with a stomp. Jordan Williams kicked to the face of Kevin Langhoff. What a matchup. Who is going to do it, though? Who's going to walk out as the champ? Williams now knocked down by Kevin Langhoff. What a war. Langhoff Lariat misses that one. Kevin Langhoff now gets punched in the midsection by Jordan Williams. And he's going to go down to the cover. Is that enough? Off the kidney shot. Count of one. Count of two. Kick out by Kevin. And now Barker's back in the ring. But Jordan Williams just sends his ass down into the mat. Jordan Williams eats a shot from Kevin Langhoff, but he fights that back. The former world heavyweight champion in Jordan Williams looking to capture his first ever member's title. Can he do it? Shoulder tackle knocks him to the mat. Langhoff Lariat! Langhoff Lariat out of nowhere! Langhoff to the champ! Two! Oh my god! Kick out by Barker! Kick out by Jason. Now back up to his feet and down goes Barker again. Kevin Langhoff. Refusing to let him go. And now he's got the Brock lock. The stretch muffler is locked in. Kevin Langhoff. Oh, but he can't hold on to it. As Jason finds his way out of that. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you've not done so. You can always drop a super chat donation if you'd like to show your support for Con Mania. And also, make sure you join our Discord if you want to keep up to the chat. And you can follow me on Twitter at Conman167. Jason Barker now deep gut wrench bomb puts down Kevin Langhoff. Langhoff does not want to be there as Barker is looking onwards. What is Jason waiting for? Jason Barker waiting for it. Looking for the Southern Stunner. Can he hit it on Langhoff? Kick. Southern Stunner. No. Reverse there. Kevin Langhoff stays alive. Kevin Langhoff back on the offense. But wait. Into a neck breaker from Jason as he puts his ass down into the mat. Now Jordan Williams going to go to work. Jordan Williams off the ropes. Chiropractor. Wait, into the cover, one, two, we are down to two. The coalition head to head. The coalition is straight fire with each other. Now here we go, Jason Parker and Jordan Williams, one on one, who is gonna win this matchup? Jordan Williams gonna take to the sky. Jordan Williams being told to Jason Barker, get up. Shoulder tackle, power slam, reversal. Jason Barker with a reversal of a lifetime. And now, oh my God, Barker. He's got it. The Southern stretch. The Southern stretch is in. And Jordan Williams taps out. And still, your member's champion, Jason B -b 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 Barker. The Southern stretch was in. And Jason Barker retains his title at Con Mania. Holy moly, what a defense. What a moment for Jason Barker. Here is your winner and still undisputed internet champion, Jason Barker.
Wow. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Battle of the Demons. It's time for Inferno versus Undertaker. Oh, baby. This one should be good. We got ourselves a five bomb from Casey Wood. He's asking, why is my guy on a losing streak? The CMU is difficult, man. The CMU is difficult. There's so many people. And it your character just happens to be losing right now. It's unfortunate, man. It certainly is. But you just got to keep getting back onto, the, onto that horse, you know? Why is my guy on a losing streak? Just not your time right now, Casey Wood. Just not your time right now. But his opponent, are you ready? Only one man's gong sounds that sends chills up and down your spine. He's the dead man, the reaper of souls. He is the Undertaker! And his opponent, accompanied by Kane from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker! And I'm gonna give this man the full screen out of a sign of respect. The dead man, the phenom, walking down slowly at Con Mania. One year ago, this man performed at Con Mania as well in a strong effort with Hunter Hand. But this year, can he get back to his winning ways? Can he defeat Nightmare Inferno? Unbelievable. The dead man is back. And the ominous look from the phenom. Here to collect some souls. Oh man, I am ready for this fight. If you guys are as well, give me a hell yeah in the live chat. Here we go, referee rings the bell and the dead man versus Nightmare Inferno starts things off. Oh, Kane's gonna distract him though from behind and Undertaker just drops him down, reverse DDT and we got ourselves a big fight here to start things off. Just gonna get the pool set up for all of you for who will win, it's either Undertaker or will it be Nightmare Inferno? And Inferno just sends Undertaker dead into the mat. Clothesline attempt, hung up over the middle rope. Okay, here we go, my friends. Get yourself your bets going. Do either Bet Taker 5 or Bet Inferno 5 right here in the live chat. As the Undertaker is slowly back up to his feet. Is this guy too old to hang with the superstars in the CMU? We are going to find out really quickly, aren't we? Oh my god, Undertaker! Oh my god! 
tombstone out of nowhere. You're kidding me. It's over. One, two, dear. Oh. Kick out, but the straps are down from the dead man. Undertaker just put his straps down. Well, wait a second. Inferno signaling the end himself? What is Inferno thinking? Nightmare just drapes him over the middle rope and just going to try to choke out the dead man. Yes, everybody, I do know about the releases. I'm trying to focus my best on the CMU here today. Here we go. Nightmare Inferno loading up. The choke slam. The choke slam. Down goes the dead man. But Kane's going to try to play a little distraction here with the referee. Distracting him from not allowing them to make the count of three. But now Nightmare Inferno is going to go back on the offense and try to lock in a submission move here on the old dead man. Now Undertaker's in a lot of trouble as Nightmare Inferno grips the hold in tight. But big time reversal from Undertaker. Back to his feet. Right hand there. Nobody home. Undertaker moves out of the way of that clothesline. But then Nightmare Inferno catches him and drops him down on the back of his head. Kane just threw in a steel chair. Kane just threw in a steel chair. Nightmare Inferno may be thinking of going with the Eternal Nightmare on it. Oh! Reversed by The Undertaker. Big time reversal off of that choke slam, Eternal Nightmare attempt. And now Undertaker running at him and there's a punch to the face. Down goes Nightmare. Continue to leave a like on this video if you have not done so. We got 138 watching. That's amazing. Glad to see you guys are all tuning in. Thank you for giving the Con Man universe a chance. This is Con Mania. Now Undertaker looking for the end. Looking for maybe a tombstone again. A second tombstone, but reversed there by Nightmare Inferno. Clothesline knocks him down into the mat. And Nightmare again back into the corner. Maybe thinking the choke slam out of there. No, instead he's going to go for a murder suplex. And the referee's got the chair in his hand. Going to try to get rid of that chair, I believe. But the murder suplex has been delivered. Nightmare Inferno laying it all on the line. Not willing to go away. Holy moly, what a match this has been so far. But a punch reversal there by the dead man. Punch again. Reverse slap to the face. Oh, that is a sign of disrespect. And then punches him right there in the jaw. Nightmare man. Throws him back in the ring. The referee still with the chair in his hand. The referee with the chair in his hand. Oh my god, now he throws it away. Dude, took a long time. And now, just a boot again to the midsection. Undertaker is in trouble. Nightmare Inferno pulling him back. Inferno, Scott, look up! Look up, Scott! No, no, not like this! Oh, kick out there by the Undertaker. Now Inferno back to the offense. Inferno has him up. Inferno fall away slam to the dead man. Back up to his feet. Nightmare Inferno has Undertaker up, but Undertaker reverses the Eternal Nightmare. He does not want to get hit with that. Side Russian leg sweep puts him down into the mat. Undertaker's rolling, looking for another tombstone. Can the damn man hit it? Can the dead man hit it? Undertaker! Undertaker! Leaping tombstone pile driver! That's it! Oh, what? Inferno kicked out at zero! Inferno! How the hell did he kick out at zero? This man just was awoken. Awoken from a deep slumber. Eternal Nightmare has him up. Eternal Nightmare. Oh my God. Delivered. One, two. Oh, the dead man kicks out. And this thing is still underway. Undertaker with a shoulder tackle. Now Undertaker again looking for a tombstone. One more time. Can he hit it? Can he? Oh my god, he's gonna hit it again. No, reverse. You're kidding me! Inferno with a tombstone pile driver in his own right. Inferno with a clothesline. The comeback begins. 
The comeback begins. Power slam delivered. Inferno has him back up to his feet. Throws him into the corner. Undertaker, you do not want to be there. Undertaker lifted up to the top rope. He's totally thinking choke slam. Don't want to be there. Oh, Undertaker though reversed that with a kick right to the face. Reverses the punch again. Clothesline though from Nightmare Inferno. And Inferno again just beating down Undertaker. At this point, guys, I don't know if Undertaker can fight anymore. He's been hit with literally everything. Back into the corner. Back elbow delivered there from Nightmare Inferno. And Inferno throws him into the corner. Under... What? Oh my god, Undertaker! Undertaker has awoken from the slumber, ends up right behind him, and then drops him down on the back of his head. Undertaker has got to be closing in on the wind. The dude, the wind, he just popped up behind Inferno. Now Inferno rising back up to his feet. Inferno though, deep arm drag. What? Inferno! Oh my god, no selling it entirely. No selling. Undertaker popping up behind him. Nightmare has him up. Eternal Nightmare delivered. It's over. One, two. Nightmare just beat The Undertaker. I can't believe what we just saw. What we just witnessed. A new era is upon us. Wow. Are you ready for a TLC match? The challenger from Dover, Delaware, weighing in at 196 pounds, the King Youngblood. All right. Sorry, I'm just looking at something. And introducing the challenger from Sylvie. Sorry, it was just looking at some stuff on Twitter. Okay, back to the commentary. 134 pounds, Thunder Storm. Boom. And just, here's the thing, guys. I, I'm going to talk about this for just about two seconds, okay? I do not wish to divulge the chat into the talk about the releases. Last year obviously sucked with it being Black Wednesday, literally a year to the day. I'm pretty sure. I believe it was on April 15th, was it not? Um, but the thing is, is that WWE has always done spring cleaning of their roster right after WrestleMania season. Generally speaking, there's a lot of cleanups, a lot of cuts, a lot of things like that. Yes, there's some surprising cuts, no doubt about it. But the timing of this is not unheard of. Anyways, this is Thunderstorm. And here comes Daddy Dave. Dig it, Dave. It's Dave. Arrua. 
Oh, baby. Miami, Florida, weighing in at 214 pounds, Dave. Oh man, guys, I'm ready for this one. I'm so ready for this Fatal 5-Way TLC match. Who's walking out with the title? But there we go, Dave Rua. His first time at Con Mania, and look at that belt hanging high above the ring in the background. That's the goal, that's the prize. Here comes El Champion. It's Lucky Luck, 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 Luck. It's Luck 7. And now Lux 7. Watching on as Gradidos makes his debut at Con Mania. His first ever Con Mania as well. Oh, baby. It's all about the game and how you play it. And if you can take it. And who's gonna make it? Holy folks. Can this be Grady's opportunity? Can Grady capture that title that has been been avoiding him for a little bit? Isn't this everyone's first match at Con Mania? It is. Yeah, it is. It totally is. It's everybody's first match at Con Mania in this match. Wow. Yeah, I guess Thunderstorm wouldn't have been at last year's Con Mania. So there we go. All right, guys. U.S. title is on the line. Can Lux7 defend his title, or will we see a new U.S. champion? Let me know who do you guys think is going to win right here in the live chat just by saying their name. You've got either King of Fate, Thunderstorm, Dave Rua, Lux7, or Grady Dose. Let me know here in the live chat. Thank you so much there, Nightmare Inferno, for the five bomb. Let's see what you got to say. And also make sure you guys leave that like on this video. My legacy as the most feared entity in the CMU continues to grow after that match. Nobody will stop this eternal nightmare. You heard it here first there from Nightmare Inferno, man. Nobody will stop this nightmare. Oh. And let's also add an evil laugh into it. Why not? <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, Dave Rua's got a chair! Dave Rua unloading with the chair on lock! Oh, my God, I thought these guys were friends! Dave Rua just unloading the chair on lock seven. I guess the uh, the sign of respect just got thrown out the window right there. There's a boot from lock seven. Now, Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm beats his ass down. Now, Dave Rua starts punching on the face of Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm counters right back at Dave Rua. And Dave... Oh, no, Dave! No, 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 no! On the chair! Thundergree on the chair! 
a Thundergree on the chair, but Dave Rue is still somehow standing. Ducks underneath that clothesline. Oh no, no, not again, not again. Thunderstorm, another Thundergree. Two Thundergrees to Dave Rua, and now King of Fate with the chair across the back of Grady Dose. Throws the chair down, man. Holy moly, what a start. And then down goes Lux7. Got thrown. Here comes King of Fate. He's going to go to work. King of Fate looking for a nice drop kick. And down goes Grady Dose. He hit really hard. Yes, this is a TLC match. You have to climb the ladder. Now King of Fate is back inside the ring. Is this elimination or first pin? Neither. It's first person to retrieve the title from hanging high above the ring. And there's Lock 7 with his hands on his title. The title that is his. And it looks like Dave Rua and King of Fate are going to look to shove the ladder over. And down goes Lock 7. That's a long way down. It's a long way down. And Luck's going to try to drag the ladder over with him. Dave Rua gets sent outside of the ring. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm just going to... What is Thunderstorm doing? Oh my god, look at... Oh, I think Grady Dose had enough of that. Watching him just hold the man high above his head. He was like, nah, I'm not going to wait for this. I'm not going to wait for it. Grady now setting up the ladder in the center of the ring. And can Grady Dose ascend to the top of the ladder? Dave Rua is watching onwards now. Dave, is he going to now ascend up to the ladder? And Dave Rua, the former Million Dollar United States Champion... They both are just staring at each other, and Thunderstorm and Lux7 gonna now try to shove the ladder over, and down go both men off the top of the ladder. Tumbling at least eight feet into the ground, and then Grady Dose gets sent over the top rope by King of Fate. Now Thunderstorm turns his attention to King of Fate. Right hand there, another right hand. And the ladder gets sent outside of the ring by Thunderstorm. Oh, block there. Lux7 now. Lux7's going to turn Thunderstorm around and send him over the top rope. Oh my god, Thunderstorm just landed on the ladder that was down there on the outside of the ring. He just crushed the top of the ladder. And Grady Doe's going to elect to go to take the ladder to the outside of the ring now. We got a chair, and there's a chair to the back. Oh, DDT on the chair from Thunderstorm. What a DDT. Holy moly, that dude just crushed him. Now Dave Rue with the ladder to Thunderstorm. And Dave watching onwards. Dave watching onwards, but Dave now just setting up the ladder. Oh, backstabber from Lux7. Now Thunderstorm's got the chair across the back of Lux. Oh my god! Lux still fighting though. How did he reverse that one? I'm not too sure. Grady Dose has the, the, the ladder in his hands. Now Grady, back to work, sets the ladder up. Dave Rua gonna watch onwards here. Goes for a chopping blow, but Grady Dose counters that one. World's strongest slam to Dave! And Lux7 trying to go back up again, trying to take his title back down. But Lux7 eats a couple shots to the back there from Grady Dose. And he steps on down from the ladder. Gradios just knocks his ass down off the ladder. And then King of... Oh my god, King of Fate! King of Fate is alone in the ring! King of Fate is all by himself! King of Fate with his hands on the title! King of Fate might do it! King of Fate very well might become the new Million Dollar United States Champion! But Thunderstorm now slides back inside the ring and Thunderstorm with a shot there to the back of King of Fate. Another shot right there to the back of King of Fate and Thunderstorm stops him in his tracks and Grady Dose and Thunder gonna shove him off the ladder right onto the chair. Oh, King of Fate fell down hard. Holy moly, we got David Jones dropping a five bomb. Thank you so much, Dave. I don't know what the message was attached to it, but I appreciate it. Super kick from Lock 7. Oh, and then Dave Rua just took down Thunderstorm somehow. Lock 7 going back to work again. Brain Buster delivered. 
But Thunderstorm one more time trying to climb up the ladder. Lux7 trying to shove the thing over. Thunderstorm is too heavy. Lux7 can't do it. Lux7 can't get him down. He can't push him off the ladder, but there's a shot to the back of the head. Shot to the back of the leg, I should say. Another shot as Thunderstorm continues to hold on to this title. King of Fate, though, dude. That's not smart, man. King of Fate just going to send Lux7 outside of the outside of the ring, I should say. And now King of Fate. Oh my god, King of Fate! King of Fate power bomb to Thunderstorm! And Dave Rua gonna be shoved off this ladder by King of Fate and Grady knows down he goes crashing off the top. And King of Fate again clears the ring. Thunderstorm is back at it again. And Thunderstorm sends King of Fate to the outside of the ring. He owns the ring, man. David Jones says, I think Edge will get a rematch at Backlash. He might, man. He might. We might also see Edge versus Daniel Bryan at Backlash, and the winner becomes the number one contender for Roman's title. Thunderstorm, though, with the hands on the title again. Looking to pull this title down. Lock 7, though, is going to ascend up to the top, stopping him from grabbing that title. Lock 7 got punched in the face. Oh, my God, shoved off the top. Thunderstorm just shoved his ass off the top rope, and now Grady Dose and King of Fate going to work together. Down goes Thunderstorm. Backstabber to Grady Dose. And Dave Rua and King of Fate now own this ring. King of Fate swinging. Dave Rua takes him out with the ladder. And there's another shot with the ladder across King of Fate's midsection. Grady Dose is back up to his feet. Dave Rua eats a forearm from Grady. Grady Dose gonna send Dave Rua over the top rope. And is it gonna be Grady Dose's time? Grady Dose now with an opportunity to ascend to the top of the ladder. Grady, hands on the title. But everybody is starting to rise. Here comes Thunderstorm. Here comes King of Fate. Here comes Lux7. Thunderstorm with a shot to the back. Another shot to the back there of Grady Dose. As Thunderstorm and Lux7 try to shove the ladder over. Grady Dose is hanging. He's hanging but taken down by Lux7. Hey, Unbroken, please peep the pinned message, okay? Lux7 now going for maybe a float over. Brain Buster. And King of Fate just got taken out by Dave Rua on the outside of the ring. Now lifting it back up. Lux7 with his hands on the title. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, Lux7 has done it! Lux7 has retained the Million Dollar United States Championship. What a match! What a match! And he retains his title. <laughs> Holy moly luck. And still, the million dollar United States champion. Lucky luck, 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 luck. It's luck seven. Still to come, four-way ladder match for the tag team titles. And our main event, Steve Taylor versus Christian Vega in Hell in a Cell. Oh, baby. It's time for Botch Guy. What do you guys say? Botch Guy rocks. Or Botch Guy sucks. Botch Guy rocks. Or Botch Guy sucks. JWE Wrestling Dynamite says, Dang, I missed the whole show already. You've missed an hour and 47 minutes. The nice thing is we still got two hours and six minutes ahead. Seriously, this is a long show here today. <laughs> We're still going. All good there, Unbroken. That's why I said you should probably just take a look at it. Here's all. I dropped the whole plan. May lay your ass down for the three second tap. Abo, oh, no! 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 
on a con mania. No. Oh my god, this guy sucks. And his opponent from parts unknown, weighing no. in 17 pounds, the ghost. No. Good God. I'm so upset that this puke is on her screens. Jesus, everybody, freaking ghost face. Freaking negative money. Every time he steps foot in the show, negative money, lose viewers. All this, all this. You suck, ghost face. You suck. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Let's get this all the way up to 150 likes. I know we can. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you guys are really enjoying the show, you can always drop a little super chat donation. Doesn't matter how much or how little. Any little bit is appreciated. Here we go. Let's get the poll going. Asking you guys who will win. Watch guy's going to start out here with Ghostface dropping him down right on the top of his head. Holy crap, that's a big move to start off with. Okay, guys, get your bets in in just a sec. Man, Botch Guy slams his head off the side of the barricade. Sidesteps the drop kick there, and now right hand delivered from Ghostface, and a DDT delivered to Botch Guy. Wait, what? What the? What? What, what, what is this? What the frig? Burn it down. Wait a second. That can't be. That can't be. It can't be. Oh my god, it's Johnny Burns! Johnny Burns! Johnny Burns is back! Oh my god! Johnny Burns just attacking Ghostface at WrestleMania! Johnny Burns is back! After being taken out and just gonna walk around Ghostface, leaving him in his dust, striking while the iron's hot. Holy crap, Johnny Burns is back in the CMU! What is going on? Holy moly! We got ourselves a match though to commentate now. Johnny Burns has made his return into the CMU, attacking Ghostface, the man who took him out months and months and months ago. Down goes Botch Guy as he's driven off the side of the steel post. Right hand blocked there by Botch Guy though. Botch Guy slammed off the steel post and Botch Guy again sent off the steel. Goes face back into the steel. Count of eight. Oh my God, count of eight. Count of eight, ladies and gentlemen, from the referee. Count of nine. Goes face, got to get back inside the ring and he just gets back inside the ring. Big, big save. And Botch Guy again puts down Ghosty into the mat. Wait a second, Botch Guy now backing up into the corner after Johnny Burns hit the burning defeat. Botch Guy, knee to the face, nobody home. Botch misses the TKO. Ghostface, no! Ghostface, tombstone! Tombstone pile driver, you gotta be kidding me. Kick out though by Botch Guy. He is still in this thing. Wow. I thought maybe the tombstone would have been enough to put him away, but it didn't look like it. Clothesline delivered from Bocci. Yeah, Raul. Uh, my man, it's all we've been able, it's all that everybody's been able to talk about. Uh, if you would take a look at the pin message, we're trying not to talk about it till tomorrow, but I appreciate the $5. Off the edge of shadows, count of two, kick out by Botch Guy. Simply because it's distracting here from the CMU and it's literally being brought up every single 30 seconds here, and I, I just I, I can't talk about it. I want to talk about the CMU. 
So thank you very much, Raul. I appreciate that. I know you didn't know. All good. Uh-oh. Back up to his feet. Ghost face. Ghost face. Oh, hit with a back body drop. And Bocce now. Off the rope. Botch guy. Five knuckle. Shuffle to ghost face. The botch knuckle shuffle, if you will. And now Bocce lining it up again. Looking for the TKO. Good guy, guys. Read the pin message. Like, seriously. It, it, it's up there. Read the pin message, please. Ghost face. No. Ghost face. Mandible claw. Mandible claw on Bocce. Oh, Botch fights his way out of that one, though. Knee right there. DDT from Botch Guy. Botch Guy back into the corner yet again. And Botch Guy going for the TKO one more time. Botch Guy. Knee to the face. No. Sidestepped again by Ghostface. Bulldog on the mark. Bulldog on the mark. And now Ghost is going back to work. But thank you so much, Raul. I do appreciate your support. Ghostface gonna now go to the ropes. Wait a second, now he's trying to cheat. Scott, look up, dude. Look up, look up. Kick out, though, by Botch Guy. Kick to the midsection. No! Don't do it again. Ghostface going for a power bomb. Not quite the edge of shadows, but definitely a version of it. Stomp misses that one. Reversal. Punch the midsection. And now Botch Guy gonna go to work. Botch Guy, wait, what? Stunner! Stunner from Botch Guy! What the frig? Hey, Khan, you heard Samoa, Joe, and Billy Kay and other superstars have been released. It's weird as well. Exactly. Botch Guy lining it up, going for the TKO. Knee to the face, busting open Ghost Face. Has him up on his shoulders. Botch Guy, T, K. Oh, one, two, no! Ghost face kicked out. Ghost face has kicked out of the TKO, and this thing is still very much underway. Botch guy with a left hand to the face of the bloodied face of Ghost face. Side slam puts him down into the mat. Botch Guy again, though, backing up into the corner for the second time. Botch Guy. Botchy has him lined up. Botch Guy knee to the face. Nobody home. Nobody home. Botch Guy caught, caught, caught. Oh, my God. We've heard rumors that Ghostface has been perfecting a new move. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, my God, it is. No. No. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Botch guy just lost to Ghostface. Let, let's say this much though. Let's say this much. Ghostface is on quite a roll right now, isn't he? Time for our 15 minute women Iron Man match. Or Iron Woman match. Let's try to rephrase that. Time for our 15 minute Iron Woman match. There we are. 
But it's the badass Ginge. It's B -b 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 Becca. Fastlane, there were so many titles changed. Now at Conmania, many titles are retained. Yeah. Brian Schaefer says a women's match finally. Yes, sir. We got two women's matches actually pretty close together here. This one, then we got ourselves the Battle of the Cults. Then we got ourselves Melina versus Rebecca Helfrich. So both women's matches are going to be coming up here pretty shortly. This one right now, and then the other one and for the women's title in just a little bit of time. North Carolina, the Queen. All good there, Hunter Hand. Thank you so much for uh, the donation. I do appreciate it. Uh, but all good. All good. You read the pin message afterwards. Yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow, guys. Just because this is con mania, I put a lot of effort into it, and I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lose value on this show, if that's a good way to put it. Damn! Wait, who's this? From Hartford, Connecticut. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, what happened to Kayla Bernstein? What happened to Kayla? Yo, what? Kayla Bernstein. She was balded with Rebecca Helfritz, and now here she comes. Whoa! Kayla! Yo, this might be Kayla's night. This is for the number one contendership for the women's title. Who's going to walk out? Or is it going to be this woman? Is it going to be the evil Rose Thorn? Oh man, Casey Rose. She's got an opportunity. 15 minutes will be on the clock. 15 minutes will be on the clock. The women who has the most amount of pinfalls or submissions at the end of the 15 minutes will be deemed the number one contender. Uh, Abel Cruz says, question, is this like live, like Botch Guy was playing, or did I pre-record it? Pre-recorded, so these are all simulations, okay? So all the characters that you see here in the, uh, in the ring are simulated. Oh my god, Casey! Rose Thorn to Becca right away! A Rose Thorn to Becca to start off the show! And Casey Rose is gonna immediately try to go down to the cover. Oh my god, a Wanda Destroyer to Kayla Bernstein! And now Kala Lily! Kala Lily with a power bomb too! Kick out by Kayla into the cover. Two broken up by Wanda. Oh, this is hectic as hell. Wait a second, Wanda looking to put somebody else away here. Maybe with a Wanda Destroyer. Going for another one, but reversed there by Kayla Bernstein. Kayla, man. Shoves a right hand there. Kayla Bernstein with a German suplex. Now she turns her around into the Bernstein Lariat. Knocking her ass down. Becca's just watching onwards here. Kind of being smart, the former women's champion. And Becca's going to take a little bit of a gander to the outside of the ring. Oh, wait. Now she slides back in. Oh, my God. Another one to destroy her, but reverse there by Kayla Bernstein. She floats over into the cover. Referee's got to get down there. Counts got a little quicker, but broken up by Becca. Side slam. Now sent over the top rope, down to the outside. Kayla Bernstein went for a big boot. Can't land that one there either. And Kayla Bernstein gets sent to the outside of the ring again. And Kala Lily right now. Into the cover, count of one. Kick out. Now Wanda back on the offense here with Kala Lily. Forms right to the face, back elbow, but counters into an uppercut. 
right hand there on the outside of the wing. So lots of action here already in this matchup. Lots of action. Kayla Bernstein, the Bernstein stretch, the Bernstein stretch, the Bernstein backbreaker, whatever you want to call it, is locked in the torture rack. And oh, Becca reverses that. Getting out of that maneuver somehow. I'm not sure exactly how. Casey Rose just hit a rose thorn on Wanda. And Becca with a form to the back of the head of Kayla Bernstein. Calla Lily's going to look to send her over the top rope. It's actually not a bad idea, Melina. I was thinking of a different theme song for her, and I just, I guess I didn't do it. Kick out by Casey. Who do you guys think is going to win, though, of these five women? Big shoulder tackle from Melina to Kayla Bernstein. And now Melina's going to go, or not Melina, sorry, Wanda to Kayla Bernstein. Goes down, but Becca breaks up the count. Becca sends Wanda back inside the ring. I hope you guys are enjoying this con mania. It's been absolutely incredible so far. Just you wait though, our main event is one you do not want to miss. The main event is as must see of an event, of a match that we have ever had inside of the CMU. Christian Vega versus Steve Taylor for the World Heavyweight title inside Hell in a Cell. That is as much as must see inside of the CMU as you can get. Incredible stuff planned later today. Uh-oh. Uppercut delivered to Casey Rose. And now Kala Lily gets sent to the outside of the ring. No, she doesn't. Gets sent off the ropes. Now Kayla Bernstein sent into the corner. Chop from Wanda to Kala Lily. Back and forth we go. Kayla Bernstein. Caught with a side rushing leg. She put down the corner. Close line from Casey. Misses the drop kick on Kala Lily. Just a little off the mark here with 11, 11 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in this Iron Woman match. We have yet to see a pinfall or submission. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? Good to see ya. Welcome to Con Mania. Now Becca sends Casey Rose into the corner. Oh, what a suplex from Kala Lily to Kayla Bernstein. And Becca's gonna go for a murder. Looks like we're going to see a little murder suplex. But Calla Lily's got her submission move locked in. Californication is locked in. Oh. Or sorry, that's not Californication. That's called Love Bites, isn't it? Now Wanda floats over after Becca hit the murder suplex. Becca goes down into the cover. But kick out by Casey Rose. Back inside the ring we go. Count of one broken up, though, by both Kayla Bernstein and Becca. Oh, shoot, Raul. Oh, shoot, man. Becca was going for Becca Bomb. And Kayla Bernstein just slamming the face of Kala Lily into the corner turnbuckle over again. Over and over again. But Kala Lily kips up in Seguri to the side of the head. Casey Rose looking for the Rose Cutter. Looking for the Rose Cutter. Rose Cutter, no. Interrupted there by Wanda. Becca got saved. Wanda now caught. Becca with a drop kick. Doesn't want her to hit a big move. Now Becca back on the offense here of Casey Rose and throws her into the corner. It's all good. I was able to get up the stairs. You back now for the, the rest of the show, my man? Quick hockey game, was it not? I guess we have been live for two hours and nine minutes, but we lost 2-1, but I got a man of the match for my performance. Nice. Nice, man. Congratulations uh, on the performance. But that sucks that you lost 2-1, man. Welcome back to the Con Mania, though. Form the face. Calla Lily. Back towards the offense. Underhook. Both arms. Backbreaker. Down goes Casey Rose. Now Kayla Bernstein's back inside the ring. And Kayla Bernstein lifts her up. Kayla Bernstein. What is this? Oh, my God. High angle power bomb. Right into the ropes. But Calla Lily no-sells that entirely. Wanda's back inside the ring now. Turning her attention over to Kala. It's the German suplex releasing it. Now Casey Rose trying to go after Kayla Bernstein. Casey Rose targets her. Now Wanda targets her. Drop kick. Wow, what a sequence we're getting. Now Casey Rose looking for the Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn. No. Interrupted by Becca. No Rose Thorn delivered. And now Wanda with a float over DDT puts down Kala Lily's head into the mat. Oh. Wow. 
Wow, eight minutes remaining, and we still don't have the first fall of this matchup, guys. Eight minutes remain, and we do not even have one single fall. Back elbow from Becca continues to fight with Casey Rose. Who's going to pull ahead in this Iron Woman match? Sidestep by Wanda. And there's a kick to the side of the head of Kala Lily. Forearm right to the face from Kala. Or sorry, from Casey Rose to Becca. And now Wanda just sends Kala Lily to the outside of the ring. But inside the ring, take a look at the Rose Cutter. Rose Cutter delivered. Casey Rose going for something big. Oh my God, Spanish fly there from Wanda. Spanish fly on the outside of the ring. Casey Rose going for a submission hold. Look at the submission hold. She's got it locked in. Oh, the bed of roses was almost enough. Actually, that's not what that's called. Doesn't matter. But look at that. Kayla Bernstein breaking it up just in the nick of time. Kayla Bernstein, German suplex. Turns her up, turns her around, and knocks her down with a clothesline. Now broken up again off the cover. Six minutes and 57 seconds remain in this matchup. Kayla Bernstein sent into the corner. Back up again. Casey Rose looking for it. Becca with the heart stopper elbow. Casey Rose looking for the Rose Thorn, but reversed by Calla Lily. Back she goes, uppercut from Becca. Calla Lily plants her down on the side of her head. Now Calla Lily and Becca share the ring. Becca with a forearm. Six minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Who is going to walk out the number one contender for the women's title? Who's going to get an opportunity at either Melina or Rebecca Helfritz? Becca gonna do something unconventional as hell. She's gonna try to cheat. Two, kick out by Kala Lily. That is not something we see from the badass Ginge very often. Normally, she's a pretty honest competitor, but she just tried to cheat. Slamming her head into the corner. Five minutes and 47 seconds remain. If you guys wanna know the time, it's on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. Now Becca waiting for her to get up. Back kick. Back kick out of nowhere. The back kick connected. Oh, but Kayla Bernstein breaks up that pinfall. Becca now and Kayla Bernstein control the ring. But Becca with a couple forms. Wait a second. Look at Casey Rose. Casey Rose is going to fly. Casey splash delivered to Wanda. Casey Rose trying to take advantage of potentially distracted Becca and Kayla Bernstein. But no. Sent over the top rope goes Becca and Kayla Bernstein now slides out after her. Wanda Destroyer! The Wanda Destroyer inside of the ring into the cover. That might be enough. Count of one, count of two. Casey Rose kicks out of that one. My oh my. Back kick out on the outside of the ring. Becca just knocked down Kayla Bernstein. And Scott's got to get out there. Scott's got to make the cover. Here he goes. Count of one. Count of two. Broken up by Wanda. She takes the referee out as well. Four minutes and 18 seconds remain. We need somebody to get a pinfall or a submission. We right now do not have a winner of this match. What happens if it's a draw? What happens? Oh my God. Casey Cutter. No, Casey Rose Thorn on the outside of the ring broken up there the rose thorn has been hit with four minutes remaining who is gonna find a way to pull ahead in this matchup four minutes remain now kayla bernstein looking for the power bomb looking for the bernstein bomb connects on that one down goes becca hits her head really 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 hard but calla lily now count of one count of two broken up no kick out by becca kick out by becca Kala Lily now going back towards a suplex, putting down Wanda. All five of these women are firing everything they got. Iron Woman match. 15 minutes it started out at. We're down to 3 minutes and 23 seconds. Wanda and Kala back inside the ring. Off the ropes. Kala Lily with a deep arm drag. Forearm. Becca and Casey working towards Kayla Bernstein. Firing everything they got with 3 minutes remaining. Kayla. Gets caught again by Casey. Casey going for a snap suplex down into the mat. Casey Rose floats over to the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Broken up by Becca. Two minutes and 58 seconds remain. Flatliner there from Wanda. 
arm drag from Kayla Bernstein. Now down to the cover. People are getting desperate. Count of one, count of two. Kick out by Becca. Two minutes and 46 seconds remain. And Calla Lily gets slammed off the hardest part of the ring. Becca throws Casey Rose back in the ring. In Saguri, Rwanda. She missed the mark. Close line with two minutes and 30 seconds left. Who is going to win this thing? Casey Rose. Casey Rose going for the Rose Thorn, but she can't land it. The Rose Cutter, whatever the move was. Now Calla Lily slammed off the steel steps. Becca and Kayla Bernstein have the ring with two minutes and 10 seconds left. Who is going to walk out the winner? Nice hurricanrana there from Wanda on the outside of the ring. Becca with some more right hands. Back kick misses the mark. Kayla Bernstein goes for a clothesline. Can't land that one either. And Becca takes her down. Back breaker delivered. There is currently zero falls. As of right now, if this match ends, we don't have a number one contender. Minute 46 seconds remaining. Minute 46 seconds remaining. Minute 40 left. These women got to dig down deep. Somebody's got to find a way. Somebody's got to find a way. Wanda float over. DDT. Becca looking for the back kick. Going for it. Becca can't land the back kick. Broken up there. Down goes. Kayla Bernstein. She takes out Wanda. And now Wanda's going to get wrecked. Casey Rose goes for a close line. She can't land it. And Becca goes for the gator roll. Minute 17 seconds left. We are closing in on the end of this match. Nobody has a pinfall. Nobody has a submission. Wanda, destroyer to Kayla. Kayla rolls to the outside of the ring. Wanda got caught. Wanda got caught though. Casey Rose now gonna launch her to the outside of the ring. A minute left. Casey, or sorry, Kala Lily gonna fly. Kala Lily looking to take to the skies. Kala suicide dive. Down goes Wanda. Center of the ring is Casey Rose and Becca. But Kala Lily is going down to the cover. Now Becca watching onwards as Casey Rose tries to break up this pinfall to the cover. Count of one, count of two. Kick out by Wanda. You're kidding me. Back in we go. Referee is back in the ring. Kala Lily and Casey. Oh my God, Bernstein backbreaker. Bernstein backbreaker. Bernstein 25 seconds left. Wanda just tapped out. Wanda's out. Wanda tapped. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to 17 seconds. Kayla Bernstein just got a submission victory. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. 10 seconds remain. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, He's Kayla the Bernstein is the number one contender. Oh my God. Kayla's done it with 20 seconds remaining. And she wins the Iron Woman match. Are you ready for the cult? Because they have arrived. What a show though so far here today, my friends. We have been live for two hours and 17 minutes and we have an hour and 36 still ahead of us. But the cult on their way to the ring. Hey, Botch Guy, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. We'll talk about releases tomorrow. I just want to focus on CMU during Minecraft and during SmackDown. That's when we're going to talk about it. But here comes Antonio Coleman, Steve K, and Justin Beverly. How's the CMU so far? It's been incredible. I think everybody in the chat will agree with that. Been an incredible show so far. But we are awaiting their opponents. 
But while we wait, you guys can get your bets in. Do either bet Cult 5 or bet Cody 5 right here in the live chat. And also make sure you leave that like. If you're really enjoying the show, you can always drop a Super Chat donation to keep these shows running. By the way, everybody, this will be the last edition of the CMU until I move fully. So we will be back with the CMU after this on May, May 6th, okay? So May 6th is our big return here to the CMU. So we will be taking a couple weeks off after Conmania. Just because I got the move coming. And it's a lot of, a lot of stuff to worry about. I move May 1st. But here is the Exalted One. Here's this freak. Oh, baby. So Exalted One, if you guys remember, he, he actually was... So when Antonio Coleman screwed over the cult, he joined forces with the Exalted One until he screwed over the Exalted One to go back to the cult and take over the cult. Antonio Coleman, the master manipulator along the way. Wait, what's this? And his opponent, first, from New Orleans. Oh, it's Brandon. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Harbin is back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Interesting, my friends. So Brandon, with a new entrance, Pyro, new theme song. He is back and more focused than ever. I, it looks like Brandon Harbin's been hitting the gym as well. Oh, man. But there's one man I know you're still waiting for. One individual. This man. That guitar riff can mean only one person. Do you know who he is? The Prince of Darkness himself. It's Cody Bang. Cody Bag, the former leader of the cult, after getting his back turned by Steve K, Justin Beverly, and Antonio Coleman, the cult that he put together. He still has his minion of darkness by his side in Brandon Harbin. But Cody Bag is on his way down to this ring and he wants revenge. We here in the live chat, we are hashtag Cody Strong with Cody Beggs, the real life individual, not this character, the real life individual with his fight against cancer. Cody Begg, we are so behind you every way. My friends here in the live chat, if you can show your support for Cody Begg that you are thinking about him in his fight against cancer, please make sure you type hashtag Cody Strong here in the live chat. That is our way of showing our support to Cody, a longtime viewer of this channel, a longtime friend of this channel. Uh, and in the early days with Cody's support on this channel it, This channel wouldn't have been here without Cody. So there's no two ways about it I hope Cody's health gets better. We are with you man 1000% behind you 
Here we go. We got ourselves the cult versus Antonio Coleman, or sorry, versus Exalted One, Brandon Harbin, and Cody Bang. And wait a second. Exalted One already going for the finish? Already going for his finish? Oh, but Antonio counters that one and just punches him in the face. And Antonio's just going to drop him on the side of his head. Wait a second. Antonio now. Antonio. Antonio. Oh, cold click. Nobody home. Nobody home. That was close. So what I'm about to say here, guys, it, it might not be uh, very, very uh, obvious, but this is actually an elimination match. So it's not just one fall to the finish. You have to beat everybody on the team. Oh, nice suplex. Down goes Antonio Coleman. Sweep of the legs. And Antonio Coleman is going to tag in Steve K here. And Steve K going right after the Exalted One. Exalted One, though, punches to the face of Steve K. Right there to the trapeze muscles of the Exalted One. Kind of just squeezing the life force out of him. Exalted One, man, being forced down to two knees. Oh my god, literally just squeezed the life force out of him. Oh, punch to the face, though, from Steve K. And there's a kick right to the leg three times from the Exalted One. Exalted One, though, goes right back around, punches to the face. And a shot to the knee. Ouch. Oh, no, Exalted One. You do not want to be there. An Exalted One just stomps. Gets stomped down. No way. Steve K, a claw slam. A claw slam meets the mark here of the Exalted One. And Steve K, again, just going to look to isolate him in this corner. Goes for a clubbing blow into the corner, but he can't land it because Exalted One moved out of the way. Oh, no, 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 no way. Oh, my God. Freak accident. Two. Exalted One. Two broken up by Brandon Harbin, though. Brandon Arvin with a back elbow there. Antonio Coleman plants him down on the back of his head. And look at Justin Beverly. He's holding the ropes up in the top left-hand corner. What's Justin doing? Justin's kind of caught in the ropes. Um, I guess he just wants to get a little, little lift in here early on. I don't know. But regardless, Exalted One throws him into the corner. Wait, where's Brandon Arvin? He must have been taken down. Cody Bag. Wait a second. Cody Bag and Exalted One going to work together. No way. Cody all the way up. You're kidding. Down he goes. Right on top. And now Cody Bag signaling the end. He wants to knock his teeth down. But a sidestep right there as Cody Bag couldn't deliver his. We need a name for that move. The darkness kick. I don't know. Something like that. Something different. Dark hole kick. Maybe dark hole kick. The dark hole kick. I don't know. But there's a forearm right to the face. Back elbow. Back elbow from Steve K. And there's a knee to the midsection. Are you kidding? Steve K just fires down a couple shots. Punch to the face as well. This is about as one-sided as, as it gets. And Coleman's just going to take a little seat. Cody's got to figure out what's going on. Back inside the ring, Cody Begg goes. And Cody Begg is going to launch Antonio Coleman into the corner. There's a form. And a stomp to the arm as well from Mr. Cody Begg. But now the thumb right to the eye from Antonio Coleman. He went for a knee, but he couldn't connect it there on Cody Begg. Cody Begg catches him, catches him. There he goes down into that dark hole slam. And now Cody signaling the end. Cody... Dark hole kick. I don't like the name of that move. Regardless, Cody just kicked his head off. Count of two broken up, though, by Justin Beverly. Drop kick as well. Oh, wait a second. Cody accidentally caught Brandon Harbin. And Justin Beverly just punches him in the face. Cody's got to stay on this offense here. Antonio. Oh, boy.
Antonio now being lifted back up again here by Cody Bag, who sends him back into the corner. Man, Brandon Harbin still hasn't... Where is Brandon? Brandon Harbin just literally out of... Oh, there's the knee strike from Coleman. Oh, there's Brandon Harbin on the far side. I didn't realize Brandon Harbin got caught, but that kick from Cody... No way! Cody, 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 Cody! Oh, no! Coleman! Two! Kick out by Cody. The out cold kick connected on Cody Bag. But now he tags in Justin Beverly. And Beverly's in a tough predicament here coming in on Cody Bag, who's been beaten down. But also Cody Bag is warm. This is the first time Justin Beverly's been brought into this matchup. Into the corner. Cody Bag. Cody. What is Cody gonna do? What is this? What is this? Oh my god! Backstabber from Bag. Jawbreaker right there. Justin Beverly now sends him back into the corner. And Beverly with the drop kick. Nobody home though. Cody Bag. Oh, reverse. Oh, he just punched Steve K right off. And Cody Bag is awoken from that deep slumber of his. Whatever was going on seems like Cody Bag has woken the F up. Now a kick to the middle of the back. Beverly doesn't want to be there. Beverly, you don't want to be there. Justin Beverly going for something big. Justin Beverly. Suplex connects on it. All right. If you guys would like to know what the card is for today, you can go on down into the description below. That has everything you need. Exalted One has been tagged in. Crucifix from Beverly. Shoulder tackle. Down he goes. Again. Exalted One is working. Justin Beverly. Beverly! Oh, no! Beverly hit with the knee trembler. And Justin, it looks like it's about to be game over. Justin into the end of days. The referee's going to have to go to the cover. That's it. One, two, it's... Oh, man. Not quite over, but at least all of a sudden, just like that, Justin Beverly has been eliminated and we are down to a three-on-two scenario. So Beverly is out of this matchup at this point. The cult falling apart. Steve K goes for a clothesline. He can't land it, though. There's a punch reversed by Exalted One. Exalted One, though, back on the offense. Throws him into the corner. And Exalted One makes the tag to Cody. Look at how well these guys are working together. Cody Bank. Oh, my God. What a leg drop combo. This is incredible. What we're witnessing here tonight. Goes for the stomp, does Cody Bag, but now Cody throws Steve K back into the corner and there's a form. Cody now, Cody, dark hole slam. That might do it, one, two, kick out by Steve K. Steve K now back up to his feet, blocked by Cody, punched the midsection, the monster don't seem so scary now, does he? Close line attempt. Cody now, lifted back up though, and then knocked over his back. Kick to the middle of the back there from Steve K. Steve K though, watching onwards again as Cody Bag throws him into the corner. What great tag team work we have seen tonight from Cody Bag, Brandon Harbin. Oh, what a reversal and exalted one. Exalted one just kicked Steve K right in his face. Back up to his feet. Oh, clubbing blow though to the back of the head of Cody. And if you're Cody Bag, this might just be a matter of time as Steve K is dominating you. Steve K, though, right hand, oh, laying down both Brandon Harbin. But now Brandon Harbin going to take full advantage, float over DDT. And it's a two on one scenario now. Brandon Harbin and Cody Bag against Steve K on the outside of the ring. Steve K now, you don't want to be there, but Cody Bag gets reversed. Kick to the midsection, there's a punch to the jaw. Reversed. Cody slides around the back. Now Cody goes for another right hand to the face. But Steve K just drops him on his face. Count of five right here. Six. Chef's plate is calling me. I don't understand why I'm not answering. Why would Chef's plate be calling me? Here we go. Tag has been made. In comes Brandon Arbin. 
Brandon Arbin though. Can he bring this fight to Steve K? I don't know. Back. Kick again. Tag has been made. In comes Antonio Coleman. Knee attempt, but he can't catch him right there. There's a forearm to the face. Antonio Coleman back. Oh no, Coleman with the high head kick. Coleman goes for the knee. Drop kick though to the back of the head. Coleman still fighting and there's a drop kick to Harbin. Back and forth we go. Back up, Brandon Harbin rolls. Cutter! Gun stun from Coleman, but kick out by Harbin. I believe Brandon, this is the first time he's been in this matchup. Now Brandon Harbin back up to his feet. Drop kick puts down Antonio Coleman. And Brandon Harbin is really feeling it, man. You can tell it. He's feeling it. But reversed by Coleman. Coleman with a punch. The midsection followed up by a knee. It's got to be over. Out. Cold. Kick to Harbin. One. Two. What? Brandon kicked out. And here comes Exalted One back inside the ring. Steve Kalo looking to bring the fight back to Exalted One. Sends him over the top rope. Antonio now. His arm being worked on by Brandon Harbin. Brandon Harbin here. Looking like a million bucks so far. Floats down into a package driver. What else is Brandon going to do? Harbin. Goes for something. I don't know what. Wait, looking towards Steve K. Back towards Coleman. And now back towards Steve K. Oh, wait a sec. I don't know what he's going for. Getting distracted. Punch to Steve K. He reverses that one. Brandon Harbin now turned around and just sent over the top rope. Tag has been made to Steve K, who is now the legal man in this matchup. If you guys could do me a real solid, please make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you're subscribed. If you guys are really enjoying the show, you can always drop a little super chat feature in order to help continue to support the show. Keep it coming around week in and week out for you guys. Now, look at this. Harbin just lifted by Steve K and dropped on the steel steps. Harbin, though, back up to his feet. Drop, kick down, goes Steve K. Count of six. If Harbin was smart, he would go for a count out, but it looks like he chose not to do that. Back inside the ring we go. Harbin with a stomp. Brandon. Brandon! He hit it! Brandon! I don't know what you're going to call that, but Brandon Harbin hit it. Count of two. Ladies and gentlemen, it is down to three on one. It is down to three on one. Oh, Coleman locking in his submission move. Coleman. Or not Coleman, sorry. Coleman locked in the Exalted One submission move. And that leaves Brandon Harbin. Coleman is out cold in the center of the ring. Brandon Harbin has the opportunity to go up to the top rope. Brandon. Gonna fly. Harbin to take out the cold. Brandon with the Phoenix Splash. Rising from the ashes. Count of two. And ladies and gentlemen, Harbin, Exalted One, and Cody Begg have defeated the cult that turned their back on them. Wow. What a match. Clean sweep for Cody, Harbin, and Exalted One. Damn. Congratulations to Cody, Exalted One, and Brandon Harvin. Here are your winners, the one, Brandon and Cody. The following contest is a no disqualifications match and is for the World Women's Championship. No DQ, falls count anywhere. Two out of three falls match. Here we go. This is one of the most hyped up matches on the card. Rebecca Alfreds versus Molina. Oh, baby.
This is going to be really good, guys. You're damn right it is. So Rebecca Alfreds or Melina. So two out, of fall, two out of three falls match. Falls count anywhere. And you now have five minutes to place your bets. Do either bet Rebecca five or bet Melina five right here in the live chat for who do you think is going to win? Those five are your con points. After weeks of not knowing if this match was going to happen with Sofia Barajas capturing the women's title and then Melina capturing it right back, we had no clue if Sofia was going to be in this match, if it was going to be a triple threat. But at the end of the day, Sofia lost her match against Rebecca Helfrich that she had to win to qualify for this match. And that's where we're at. But here comes the women's champion. None other than Melina. Interesting, everybody. I'm looking right here on Twitter, and it says AEW pulled in 1.2 million last night. That's huge. So we'll see if they can continue holding the viewership uh, because they obviously had no NXT counter-programming them. So we'll see if they can continue to hold the viewership on Wednesdays. That's huge. Over 1 million viewers for AEW. Congratulations, AEW fans. That's, that's huge. If they can consistently pull in over 1 million... Uh, that's a, that's a very successful alternative, no doubt about it. All right, Melina, though your women's champion is here, ready to defend her title. Drop that like if you haven't done so. Let's hit 150 likes. I know we can. 142 watching right now. How many did NXT bring in? I believe a little over 800,000, something like that. I believe NXT was like 800,000 something. Here we go. Women's Championship on the line. Introducing the challenger from Scottsdale, Arizona, Rebecca. Rebecca Alfreds. Introducing the champion from another time. She is the world women's champion, the witch. All right, here we go. You've got just a few moments left. Uh, you got a minute 34 left to place your bet. So do either bet Rebecca five or bet Melina five. Two out of three falls. All right. So here we go. This match is officially underway. Which woman is going to walk out with the win? Oh my God. Rebecca Alfred's going to start out in the corner. I'm going to go for the double knees already. Rebecca, no, no, no. That's, oh God, Rebecca, that's going to hurt already. That's a big move early on in this matchup. And Rebecca Helfords pulls Molina back towards the center of the ring. And she hooks the leg. No way, this can't be already, right? No, count of one and a kick out by Molina. Rebecca Helfords, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Going for her signature move here. Can she hit it? No, she can't hit the purple haze. And there's a knee from Molina to the midsection. 
Molina keeps wrestling Rebecca Helfritz. And there's a clothesline delivered in the dead center of the ring. Lifts her back up again. Rebecca Helfritz though catches Molina and throws her back into the corner. Double knee misses that one. This time, and there's a punch from Molina to the midsection. There's a high head kick as well. And Molina now back to work. Grabs her by the back of the head. And puts Rebecca Helfritz up on the ropes. Molina sends her over the top rope as well. What is Molina looking for? Molina, what are you looking for? Oh, Rebecca Helfritz gets back inside the ring. Molina slides to the outside of the ring. Now Molina back in. She goes, and Molina's going to try to do this again. Sends her over the top rope. Looks like they might have missed their spot. Sending it back up again. Here we go. Molina looking for a big DDT. Molina connects on it. And down goes Rebecca Helfritz. This is false count anywhere. Remember that one. Into the cover. But Scott takes a sweet time. Count of one. Count of two, and a kick out by Helfritz. I think if Scott would have got there a little quicker, that might have been uh, first fall for Molina. What a show we have had, though, so far. Still to come tonight, we got ourselves the Cruiserweight Fatal 4-Way, the first come, first serve. Who will answer that open challenge? Oh my God, Helfritz. Helfritz got the Hellbreaker. And Helfritz just hit the Hellbreaker on Molina on the outside of the ring. And now Helfritz yet again. Helfritz looking for the Purple Haze. Oh no! Purple Haze! Molina's in a lot of trouble. Rebecca Helfritz is going to go down to the cover. Scott is going to slide to the outside of the ring. Here it is. Count of one. Count of two. Oh, kick out by Molina. And the first fall is not over yet. Oh my, but still to come also after that fatal four-way cruiserweight match, we have Raul Kapar versus Mr. Tornikane for the IC title. We have the Convicts versus the Sky Dogs versus Dynasty versus the Wolfpack in a four-way ladder match for the tag team titles. And then we have Steve Taylor versus Christian Vega in our main event inside Hell in a Cell for the World Heavyweight title. Should be good, but now Molina looking to line up a kick. Molina going for the witch kick. Can she land it? Witch kick delivered. Witch kick. Good night, Rebecca. First fall might go to Molina. Count of one. Count of two. And a kick out by Alfreds. But wait a second. Molina lining it up yet again. Molina going for the second one. Molina. Second witch kick. Down goes Alfreds. That might be enough again. Into the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Alfreds just kicks out again. And this thing is going, man. Rebecca Alfreds just kicked out of two, which kicks back to back. Now Molina taking to the skies. Molina, what's she thinking? Double knee to the face, down goes Alfreds. And she rolls to the outside of the ring now, but wait a second. Molina's gonna go back up to the top rope again, looking for another Meteora. To the outside of the ring, Meteora, no! Side step there by Helfritz, and she lands hard on her knees. And now Rebecca Helfritz is gonna have to take back over control of this matchup if she wants any chance of continuing to fight, slamming her off the hardest part of the ring. Helfritz has her up yet again. Helfritz has her up for the Hellbreaker. Hellbreaker time, deliver. Oh no, Molina's head just smacked off the back of the steel. Off the steel steps, one, two, kick out by Molina. But Helfritz looking to put her away. Get the first fall, Molina! Oh God, Helfritz just hit the purple A's, one, two, Molina is down one to nothing. Helfritz is up one to nothing. The women's champion is in trouble. No, Molina though, spikes down Helfritz face first. And it's like Molina didn't even want to wait. Didn't even want to wait, double stomp to the midsection. Molina now with a kick to the middle of the back. But Helfritz no sells that one. Deep leg drag down, deep leg drag down goes Molina. But now an arm drag from Molina. Molina, oh, well cold kick. The witch kick, that's gotta be it. One, two, tie game. One to one, everybody, in this Falls Count Anywhere match. Two out of three falls. Next fall wins. Next fall is the women's champion. Molina now sent hard off the side of the ring. And Rebecca Alfreds drops down there across the leg. 
Melina, though, has done a lot of damage. Those witch kicks that Melina has hit, you got to wonder. If this were another sport, I think the concussion protocol person would be out there for Rebecca Helfritz. But there's the elbow drop. She's still fighting. She's re reaching down deep into everything she's got. But Melina catches her right there across the back of the leg. Melina, no! Right to the already, we believed, incredibly injured head. Helfritz's head. No, Helfritz's head is in a lot of trouble. She's going to try to make her tap out. Helfritz hanging on for dear life. Good God, I believe this woman has got to be concussed. How is she still fighting? But Helfritz takes her down. Snapping the head, but Helfritz, man, the damage has been done. It absolutely has been done. Helfritz goes for a side rush. Oh, she hit her own head, though. The damage continues to be done to Rebecca. The head of Helfritz has got to be pounding. It's just got to sound like a drum shop. Just... That's her head right there. But now some clotheslines, back heel kick. The last ditch effort for Helfritz. Uppercut though to the head. Helfritz in trouble. No, sent to the outside. Oh, good God, Helfritz hit her head. No. Helfritz just smoked her head on the ground as she came hot and heavy over the top rope. I think she's out cold. She's barely moved. You're kidding. No, not like this. Not like this. No. Helfritz, her head, had been targeted all match long. And the spill from the outside of the ring, from inside the ring to the outside of the ring, not her out cold. Helfritz just falls short just a little bit. The build was there. Helfritz fought her ass off. But at the end of the day, the concussion protocol doctors are attending to Rebecca Helfrich. She was concussed off of the last witch kick delivered. And I don't know about Rebecca Helfrich, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, Rebecca's going to need some medical attention. And we might be, that might be the last we've seen from Helfrich for a little bit. Rebecca, help to the back. The concussion protocol taking over. And Molina stands tall here tonight. Wow. All right. Who is going to be in this fatal four-way cruiserweight title? Or sorry, cruiserweight number one contender. Open invite. Who is it? Who's the first come first serve? Who is it? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Johnny Souza, the 10 year veteran at WrestleMania. Whoa, competing for the cruiserweight title? Has this guy shredded down to become a part of the cruiserweight division? Yo, the 10 year vet at Mania answering this open invite. And could this man walk out? the number one contender. Who else is going to go into this spot here? Here's Johnny. I hope you guys enjoyed the matches so far here today. Even if you are on the losing side, I certainly hope that you got entertainment out of it at the bare minimum. Oh, here comes Braden Sports. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this an elimination match? No, it's one fall to the finish. One fall. All right, so Braden Sports looking to get back to the Cruiserweight title. So welcome back, Brayden. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, who else is gonna be a part of this four-way cruiserweight 
number one contenders match at Con Mania. Man, what a show so far. Oh, here we go. It's good old Jack. Make sure you wave to Jack, everybody. And wave to this man. In at Jack getting an opportunity here Jack. at Con Mania as well. Oh, baby. So Jack, a former WWE champion, believe it or not. Yeah, it's true. It happened a while ago, but it happened. Good old Jack looking to capture the Cruiserweight title, or at least the number one contendership, to get an opportunity at the Cruiserweight title. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and who is going to be the final? Fourth person in this matchup. Get it, Jack, moving that mustache that you don't have. <laughs> All right, who's last? Who's this? No, you're kidding! Oh my god! You're kidding! He's back! And from He's City, back! Ha ha ha! Jason Lyle! The long awaited return! Jason's back! <laughs> oh, baby! Welcome back to the CMU, Jason Lyle! How long has it been? How long has it been since we've seen the wild man? Jason Lyle has arrived! Wow! Holy! Jason coming out to the big pop from the crowd. So here we go. We got ourselves Johnny Souza, Braden Sports, Jack, and Jason Lyle. Here we go, everybody. Big fight feel. Number one contendership on the line in the cruiserweight division. Who is going to get the number one contendership? Who is going to go on to face Aled Thomas? All four of these men have something against Aled as well. Okay, so Braden Sports looks like he's squared off here against Jason Lyle to start things off. And Jack has squared off with Johnny Souza. Now, elbow right across the face of Jason. Braden Sports continues to work him, back elbow there, and then Jack just gets caught with a kick to the midsection, and Johnny Souza continues to stay on his offense. We got 57 minutes remaining in the show, everybody. I certainly hope you have enjoyed it tonight. If you have, make sure you leave a like, just shy of one hour left. Jack now back on the offense, dropping that exposed knee across the chest of Johnny Souza. Yes, it was, Raul. <laughs> Just like this is. Uh, Primitive says, I wonder when 2K22 is coming out. They better have masks. In the game? Like, you know, like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh... They, they probably will, actually. They'd be stupid. They'd be a little silly not to with uh, everything that went on. But, yeah. I don't know when they're going to release it. Probably this October like they normally do. But you never know. Braden Sports just stomping away on Jason Lyle in the center of the ring. And it's going to send him to the outside. Raul's giving me a lucha strike. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now Johnny Souza back towards Jack, looking for the blockbuster, but Jack counters that one with a back body drop. 
There's a right hand. Brain Sports continues to stay on the offense and just slams him down off the hardest part of the ring. And Jack with a butterfly backbreaker there too. Johnny Souza going for the Brain Buster. Jack with the Brain Buster on the knee. That's a big time move. That might be enough. Count of one, count of two. Broken up or kick it by Souza. Now Brayden Sports looks to turn this match around, sends Jack into the corner. As Johnny Souza gets work, Brayden Sports back elbow, here he goes, delivered to Jack. And Souza sends Jason Lyle to the outside of the ring, man. DDT from Brayden Sports to Jack. Looking to become the number one contender are these four men. Who is going to do it? Thank you very much for 150 likes, guys. Keep on smacking that like button. I'd love to get 200 likes in here. Be amazing. Chop to the chest, nobody home. But Braden Sports gets hit with the Northern Lights suplex, courtesy of Johnny Souza. Now Souza's looking for the 10-year cutter. Can he hit it here on Sports? 10-year cutter reversed. Braden Sports now back. Oh my God, Braden Sports hits the dragon cutter. Out of nowhere. Countered the tenure cutter into the dragon cutter. Now goes down to the cover. Count of one, count of two. Jack just breaks it up and a kick out by Johnny Souza. But Brain Sports back up to his feet. Jason Lyle goes for something. Brain Sports went for another cutter there on Jack and a clothesline knocks him down. Now Brain Sports going to take to the skies. Souza, oh, he tried to take him out, but Souza couldn't catch Brain Sports in time. He was a little too quick. Right hand to the face, Jason Lyle now gonna catch him and float him down into the mat. Sports has Jack up on his shoulders, but Sports just got reversed, and Jack knocks him down with a reverse DDT. Jason Lyle continues to remain on the offense. Sounds good, Raul. Hopefully your knee gets a little better. It will take a little bit of time. The, let me tell you, as a goalie, I've been hit by pucks in terrible positions more than you can imagine. Um, the, the amount of times I've gotten pucks in the side of the ribs, the pucks like right in my midsection where like I'll, I'll lean up or something and the puck will hit me there. I've gotten slashed in the midsection. I've gotten slashed across the back of my legs. Uh, goalies with the pads, the back of their legs are completely exposed. So I, I, I know your pain, man. Hockey is a freaking vicious, vicious sport at times. Count of two, kick out there. The amount of freaking pucks I've taken to the dome. Sure, I had a helmet on, but if you have ever, ever seen a 17-year-old kid come out, wind up a clapper, and then smoke it off your face, uh, you'll never forget it. <laughs> Lyle going for a couple kicks there to Brain Sports, but he can't land it. Referee's down, Blockbuster, nobody home. Jack, 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 Greasy Thighs, Greasy Thighs delivered the Jack. Uh, greasy Thighs delivered the Jack, what the hell is that? Jack delivered the Greasy Thighs is what I meant to say, but Braden Sports from behind catches Jack and knocks him down. Braden Sports on the offense, big monkey flip to Jack as this damage is being dealt out. Johnny Souza now lifted back up to his feet. Braden Sports with a chop. Punch off the ropes. Sports with another chop. Souza into damn, the corner. Damn, damn, damn. The trouble in paradise damn. did Jason Lyle. He missed that one. Flatliner from Sports puts down the 10-year veteran, and there's a stomp from Jack. Jack is looking for those greasy thighs. Can Jack deliver them here on Jason Lyle? But Jason Lyle slides down the back. Jason Lyle goes into the cover. That might be enough. Count of one. Count of two. Reversed and kicked out by Jack. Right hand to the face. Now Johnny Souza trying to take out Jack. Slides, slaps him down on the side of his back. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, now back up into a 10-year cutter. Oh my God, Sousa just hit the 10-year cutter on Jack. That's gotta be it. One, two, broken up by Sports as he takes the referee out. Braden Sports had to dig down deep in order to survive this matchup. Now Jason Lyle gonna try to break up that submission hold. Jason Lyle sees his opportunity. Jason Lyle drops him down on his back and Sousa's in trouble. Jason Lyle, man. Paying homage to Jushin Thunder Liger.
Now up to the top rope, Jason. Jason. Lyle! The Phoenix splash missed. And Jack now looking for greasy thighs. Going for greasy thighs. Oh, but he can't land it. Brain Sports stopped him right in his tracks. Kick. Braden Sports is going for a drive-by. Gotcha, Ghostface. Ghosted. Cool. Drop kick to the face. Braden Sports just connected on it. Now he's going to go to the top rope. Braden Sports looking to fly. Sports, what a splash from the top rope, man. And now Souza just going to look onwards and breaks up the pinfall. Johnny Souza and Braden Sports now with an opportunity. Northern Lights suplex right there into the cover, broken up. Lyle up to the top rope. Jason Lyle with an elbow drop. Drop kick. Braden Sports now looking for his finish. Looking for the Dragon Cutter, but he can't catch it as the 10-year veteran Johnny Souza puts him out of his misery. Puts him out of his misery. Jack went for something big. Johnny Souza stopped him in his tracks. And a crossbody from Sports. Man, these cruiserweights are laying it on the line here. We still got three matches after this. Into the cover. Count of two broken up by Souza. Braden Sports with a punch right to the face. And Jason Lyle's been busted wide open. Back elbow. Clothesline. Ducks underneath does Jack. Jack now going back on the offense. Going for a butterfly. And Souza going for a couple of power bombs. Big bomb down into the mat. Souza just smoked Jason Lyle and now just going to kick him in the ribs. Trying to drag his arms back behind his head and slamming his face down into the mat. Jack now targets Johnny Souza. Johnny Souza sent to the outside of the ring and over the top rope. Jack again into the corner. What else is Jack looking for? Deep drop kick to Lyle. Lyle back elbow to Jack. Jack now gets lifted up. Lands on his feet, though. What a cruiserweight match we're seeing here. Jack going for the Brain Buster. He just hit the Brain Buster on Jason Lyle. And now Lyle. His arms are going to be wrenched on. Jack floats over into the cover. What a deep cover this is. Count of one, count of two. Kick out by Lyle. On the outside of the ring, Braden Sports and Johnny Souza are fighting. Jack now throws Jason into the corner. Jack runs into the back elbow from Jason Lyle. Back elbow again from Lyle. We're all in there. Oh, trouble in paradise. He missed that one. The wild kick. Couldn't land it. Back elbow again to the side of the ear. Lyle is kind of freaking out right in front of Jack doing a little jig. There's a drop kick. Puts him down. Another drop kick. Puts down Jack. Tenure cutter delivered to Braden Sports. Oh, my God. Jack. Jack. Two. Braden kicks out of the tenure cutter. What a sequence. Lyle with his own drop kicks here. But Brayton Sports into the corner. What else is he looking for? Brayton with a shot to the midsection. Another shot to the midsection. Two of them. Stomp misses that one. Cutter, tenure cutter to Brayton Sports. Now Jason Lyle stomps on the midsection. Jason Lyle going after Johnny Souza. Johnny Souza eats a right hand there from Brayton Sports. Sorry, from Jason Lyle. Now Johnny Souza eats another form. Trouble in paradise. The wild kick delivered to Johnny Souza. Is the wild kick enough? Is it enough? One, two, kick out by Souza. Kick to the middle of the back. Sports now helps Souza back up deep. Neck breaker puts him down. And then Jason Lau gets back on the offense. Kick to the midsection. Dragon sleeper. Dragon, oh my god, what is this move? Sports got him locked in. What is this? Drop kick attempt, and now Jason Lyle breaks up that pinfall. Brayton Sports eats a right hand. Johnny Sousa has been knocked to the outside of the ring. Wait a second, what's Lyle going for? Lyle, oh my god, Lyle, bitter end. Bitter end. That's it, one, two. Jason Lyle is the number one contender. Whoa.
there it is, everybody. Jason Lyle wins with the bitter end. Woo! Are you ready? I see title is on the line. Are we about to witness Grand Slam Tornikane? The first Grand Slam champion inside of the CMU. Is that what we're about to witness? He needs the IC title. Oh my. Big, big fight feel between Mr. Tornikane and Raul Kapar. But here's one thing I want to bring attention to. Over the last however many weeks, Raul Kapar has been in countless matches and he has been attacked multiple times by this man. In fact, Raul Kapar, not long ago, literally had to defend his title not long ago it was that Raul last defended his title. Yeah, against Robert Briggs. Wasn't that long ago, guys. But Raul Kapar has been the IC champion for 232 days. But Raul has been competing a lot more often than Mr. Tornikane. Mr. Tornikane is fresh. In fact, Mr. Tornikane has claymore Raul Kapar multiple times, busting him wide open. Raul needed stitches. I'm surprised this man, like Rebecca Helfritz, is not concussed. I'm surprised this man's actually standing. Tornikane says I faced Brad Riet fast. Enough. Yes, that is true. Raul R uh, was in a match. Last week against Steve Taylor, Challenger. and then the From week Cameron, before, North he took Carolina. over Christian Wade Vega. Like, this man has been defending, or he's been in a lot of matches. Hurricane. Been in a lot of matches recently and been attacked a lot by Mr. Tornikane. Introducing the champion. From Mumbai, India. Get your bets in. Do either Wade bet Torn or bet Raul. He is the Intercontinental Champion, The Prodigy. Cool. Here we go. Big fight feel. Do we see a Grand Slam champion or does Raul Kapar continue his historic reign that he has held onto the title since SummerSlam of 2020? Been an incredible reign here as the Intercontinental Champion, but Mr. Tornikane, a former world champion, looking to become a Grand Slam champion here tonight is gonna be no easy task. Raul Kapar starts by stopping off here against Mr. Tornikane, but Tornikane gonna go to work immediately on that arm of Raul Kapar dropped on the back of his head. 
stomp right there from Tornikane. However, Tornikane sends Raul into the corner and Raul gets hit hard. So early on, it looks like Tornikane is in complete control, but Raul Kapar fires back. And stalling suplex puts him down to the mat kick right there to the middle of the back. Tornikane eats a right hand. Raul Kapar though, sent back into the corner. And Mr. Tornikane with a forearm knocking down Raul. A lot of punishment being devied out right now so far. And Raul Kapar is gonna get sent off the ropes again. Ducks underneath does Mr. Tornikane. Up and over, Tornikane the athleticism. Back elbow, nobody home. Raul Kapar gets clocked though in the face with a hard clothesline. Tornikane is rolling, man. Stomp to the side of the head. Raul's back up, though. Tornikane just dominating him early on. And Tornikane hangs him up over the top rope. Raul, though, fights back. Kick to the knee. Raul clothesline sends Tornikane to the outside of the ring. And Raul's going to fly up to the top rope, telling him to get back up to his feet. Elbow drop. Down goes Torn. But Tornikane wrestles him back. It barely affected him. What else is going to happen here? Tornikane into the barricade. Oh, no. Raul gets sent right into the barricade. And Tornikane's going to beat his down, ass down right in your living room. Punching him right there. Just to his face. Now there's a kick to the midsection. Raul Kapar eats the right hand, though, from Tornikane. Back and forth we go. Tornikane back inside the ring. We got to go. Count of eight. Oh wait, Raul goaded him in. Raul goaded him in. Tornikane in trouble. Tornikane in a lot of trouble. Tornikane hit with the capital punishment. And now back up into it. Raul Kapar looking for last breath. Steps through. Raul last breath to Tornikane. And will that be the last breath that he takes? Will it be enough to put him away here at WrestleMania? Two, Tornikane kicks out of that one. And Tornikane, man. But he's still got that deadly, deadly weapon called the Claymore. It only takes one to put you away. Especially, wait a second. Oh my God, are we talking about it already? Tornikane bouncing up out of it. Tornikane has him lined up. Tornikane, Tornikane, Claymore. Claymore to Raul. No way. One, two. It only takes one. Oh my God. Tornikane just beat Raul with one single Claymore. The beatdowns week after week, the sneak attacks has paid dividends for Tornikane. The head of Raul was as soft as a baby's bottom. And Raul Kapoor got clocked and is no longer the Intercontinental Champion for the very first time in Con in CMU history. We have ourselves a Grand Slam Champion, Mr. Tornikane. Congratulations. You, sir, are the new Intercontinental Champion, ending his streak at well over 200 days. History has been made. Raul Kapar, can we just get a thank you, Raul, for that incredible intercontinental title reign. 232 days. Get out of here. Wow, man. But what's next? Oh, it's ladder time. And the greatest tag team to have ever done it in the CMU. Here comes the dynasty. What a run for Raul Kapar, though, man. Seriously, dude. Thank you for that run. Thank you for how entertaining it was. Um, you you took that Intercontinental title to new heights, and I hope Tornikane continues to bring it to new heights because you raised the prestige of the IC title 
That was a hell of a run, man. Who I am. Exactly, Raul Kapar. So, ladies and gentlemen, Raul knows the story of his character, and we are going to reiterate this to you guys. Right before Con Mania, Raul Kapar won his match. And Christian Vega and General Manager Bob have owed him a world title match after Con Mania. So while Raul Kapar might have just lost the IC title, there might be bigger fish to fry for the bastard. That is our first title change tonight. Yes, it is, guys. But here comes the Wolf Pack. Former tag team champions. Now, what about the Wolf Pack, guys? These, these two are looking to capture back their tag team titles. I don't think they were ever a fan of how they lost the tag team titles. But there we go, forearms to each other, and the Wolf Pack has arrived. Matthew Grantland says, I'm here, Con Man. Good to see you, buddy. You're here for your match. This is the co-main event of the evening. Oh, oh, Ben Rogers, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. You guys ready for a little Sky Dogs? Let's go. And the Sky Dogs have arrived. Sam Carcione says this is not main event. One more match. Yeah, this is co-main event, my friend. Co-main event. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. All right, Sky Dogs, can they get it done here at Con Mania? This ladder match is going to be intense. Oh, it's going to be intense, guys. Don't blink, but make sure you leave a like on this video. Let's hit 200 likes here tonight if we can. I don't know if it's possible, but I'd love to. Also, everybody, it would be amazing if we could, uh, if we could get some more subscribers rolling in. And if you're really enjoying the show, please consider dropping a Super Chat donation. This has been nearly... Four hours here today. We're entering our final half hour. Should be really good. But here comes the tag team champions. They are known simply as the Convicts. Captain Solomon and Peyton Cash. Let's go. Whoa, that's a new hashtag. I've never seen that. He says, we want the Jackson Bros. Damn. Haven't seen a hashtag like that yet. Interesting. Big Tiger says, my battery was at 91% when this show started. Now it's at 38%. Drains the battery, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely does. We've been live for three hours and 22 minutes. What a show it's been. What a show it has been, man. All right. So here we go. Who do you think's going to win? Say the tag team name in the chat. Oh, big shot right there. Down goes. Matthew Grantland. Man, there's a lot of stuff right here. A lot of stuff going on I got to pay attention to. But the goal is for the tag team to climb the ladder. Climb the ladder and take down the belt. So we got some people saying convicts, some people saying sky dogs, some people saying wolf pack, some people saying dynasty. All we can say though is that these four tag teams right here, you can argue that they are the, the real true foundation of the tag team division right now. You throw in the new foundation with them, you throw in the Jackson Bros, 
He may be throwing the cult. And these, this is your tag team division inside of the CMU. And boy, oh boy, the tag team division continues to be built up week in and week out. Nice move from Grantland, puts him down. Big Tiger says, I still don't get why the Sky Dogs have turned heel. Here's an important thing to really truly remember, guys. Inside of the CMU, you can vote, cheer, or boo for whoever you want. If you still want to cheer for the Sky Dogs, just because they happen to super kick a couple people a few times, does not mean that you can't cheer for the Sky Dogs. So go right ahead, cheer them all the way. Hey, welcome back there, Willie. No, no need to be sorry there, Big Tiger. Just letting you know that you can choose root, boo, cheer, whatever you would like to do for whoever. Now Captain Solomon going to take to the top rope. Captain Solomon going to fly. Solomon elbow drop, but Grantland moves out of the way. Man, lots of people squaring off with each other. Peyton Cash on the far side with a brain buster to Kevin Wade. And then Grantland just sends Solomon over the top rope. Matthew Grantland, I believe, is going to bring the first ladder inside the ring. Roa with a Roa bomb. And Matthew Grantland setting that ladder. Maybe not setting it up. But choosing to use it as a weapon. Down goes Isaac Roa. And there's a shot right there. But Captain Solomon wrestles the ladder away from him. Then Matthew Grantland wrestles the ladder away from him. And here is Captain Solomon in a little bit of a tough predicament. Matthew Grantland has him up. Grantland. Oh, what a Huracurana reversal there from Captain Solomon. And then Ludog uses the ladder there on Peyton Cash. Ludog again with the ladder to Captain Solomon. But now White Wolf puts him over that top rope. Same with Captain Solomon sent over the top rope. And White Wolf, what is going to happen here? White Wolf DDT to Ludog. Oh, no. Draping DDT. And Ludog... Just got busted wide open. Oh, oh man, White Wolf firing away with that ladder on to Peyton Cash. And look at Kevin Wade just working Peyton here, going down on his knee. Looking to hurt the man. You got Tevin Walker on the far side with Isaac Rowe as well. You know these two don't like each other. But what else is Tevin going to do? Tevin Walker just gets the ladder slapped away from him. Right hand. Oh no, Rowan just got busted wide open. Things are breaking down here in Saguri. Attempt from Captain Solomon, but he can't land it. Clothesline from White Wolf puts him over the top rope. And so far, the Wolf Pack is kind of in control. Big brain buster there for Peyton Cash. And now, oh my God! White Wolf up again, pile driver to Roa. The Wolf Pack is now going to be the first team to ascend the ladder. Take a look on the outside. You've got Captain Solomon with the bombs and Lou Dog with the Lou Driver. But look at White Wolf with his hands on the title. Lou Dog's going for a Lou Driver again. I don't believe he sees the action in the ring. Matthew Grantland back inside the ring, going to try to play defense here on Tevin Walker. Sends him over the top rope, but Captain Solomon gets up there to the top rope and shoved both of them down, did Isaac Roa. Wow, his hands were on that title for a long time. White Wolf could have easily found a way to grab that title, but he was unable to successfully grab it. To grab it. White Wolf just got smacked with the ladder. Or sorry, Isaac Roa got smacked with the ladder. Then back up, lifting that ladder is White Wolf again, looking to drop the ladder on Kevin Waite. There's a stomp to his back. But here comes White Wolf climbing all the way up. Back up there. Right hand, Kevin Wade firing away on White Wolf as his hands are on the title. Oh my God, Peyton Cash is gonna throw them off the ladder though. Peyton Cash, no, oh my God, the ladder went out from underneath them as Ludog hit a giant suplex. 
dropping him down on his head. And then there's a shot with the ladder to Captain Soul. And now Ludog is starting to roll. What is Ludog thinking of doing? Kevin Wade's just watching onwards. Isaac Roa going for something here. Roa drives down Matthew Grantland. And now Ludog just stomps on the midsection of White Wolf. White Wolf's in a lot of trouble as Tevin Walker lifts up the ladder. What? Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! That ladder was really close. I thought he was going to drop him on the ladder. Suplex delivered from Tevin Walker, and right now the Sky Dogs are kind of in control of this match. Sent over the top rope, and now White Wolf goes up after Solomon right hand there. And White what? What's he thinking? What is White Wolf thinking? Don't do anything stupid. Is he going to drop him down on the ladder? That's a long way away. That's a long way away. Oh, thank goodness he didn't put him on the ladder. Peyton Cash with a brain buster, but reversed by Ludog. And we got a lot of action continuing on as White Wolf again seems to be the man who is controlling the... Oh, my God. Both... Both Wolfpack members are in the ring. White Wolf has his hands on the title. Kevin Wade, though, is now going to try to climb up to the top. Kevin Wade trying to play defense. All oh, Ludog from behind. Kevin Wade! No way! Kevin! Off the ladder! What a swinging neck breaker! Down goes Grantland. Now Kevin Wade is going to look to send Captain Solomon to the outside of the ring. Over the top rope goes Tevin as well. And the Dynasty has control of the ring. Just like that, the Dynasty controlling it. And can the greatest tag team to ever do it in the CMU get back to their tag team titles? No! The ladder slips out from underneath. Oh, ho, ho. Peyton Cash with the final statement. Oh, man. What a matchup. Solomon, Solomon, careful. Lou, oh no! Lou Dong's shoulder being smacked into that ladder. Lou, or sorry, Tevin Walker's shoulder being smacked into the ladder. Tevin Walker just got wrecked three times by Solomon. Tevin, dude. What a splash from Peyton Cash inside the ring. And Captain Solomon now brings the ladder back in there. Are we going to see new tag team champions? Big DDT delivered there. Do I believe that's White Wolf, right? Yeah, White Wolf got wrecked. Now Peyton Cash looking to set the ladder up. And can the convicts do it? Can the convicts walk out of Con Mania? Still the tag team champions. Here comes White Wolf back in the ring. Peyton Cash hands on the title and Ludon stops him from behind. Oh, thumb to the eye. No way. Cash thrown off the top of the ladder. Cash thrown off the top of the ladder. And now Ludog's going to try to shove the ladder out from underneath of White Wolf. White Wolf taken down and dropped all the way to the mat. Ludog with the elbow to White Wolf. Roa from behind. Roa looking for something. But Ludog just going to catch him and send him over the top rope. Or at least trying to. And now Ludog goes again. Over the top rope goes Roa. But now Cash is sending up to the top of the ladder. Peyton Cash trying to grab that title of his. Captain Solomon playing defense, but slides in. Isaac Roa does, and Isaac Roa sends back up to the ladder. Oh, ho, ho, right hand. Another right hand for Moa. Three right hands, but Peyton Cash blocks that one. Peyton Cash again. Oh, my God, Peyton, no way. Cash. Cash. Oh, thrown off the ladder. Roa stopped him. Roa stopped him in dead tracks. Kevin Wade sent outside of the ring. And now Tevin Walker is going to look to ascend the ladder again. And Tevin Walker with a right hand to Isaac Roa. Some more right hands. Three right hands. The Sky Dogs own the ring. Some four right hands. Roa sent off the top of the ladder. Tevin Walker with his hands towards the title. Tevin Walker. Hands on the title. Trying to steal the title away from the convicts. Solomon is back in there. Solomon though. No way. Solomon stops him in his tracks. Playing mad defense of his title. Solomon. Oh, Peyton Cash, though, going to grab Tevin and knock him off the ladder. Now Solomon with his hands on the title, but he can't get it as White Wolf stops him. And White Wolf is going to drag him off the top of the ladder. And a clothesline puts down Captain Solomon. What a reversal, though. Oh, heel kick delivered. 
Heel kick delivered. Solomon, get back up there. Go back after the titles. Now Solomon ascends the ladder yet again. Isaac Roa going to ascend back up. And Roa and Solomon right hands on top of the ladder. Three right hands. Roa blocks that one, though, with a right hand of his own. Roa going for it. Blocked by Solomon. Back and forth they go. Fire down goes Roa, but he caught being catch. Ludong shoves the ladder out from underneath of Solomon. What a match, man. What a match. A whole ladder shot to Roa. Hung up over the top rope was Captain Solomon. Again. Ludog, though, going for the Luplex. Going for the Luplex. Luplex delivered as White Wolf watching onwards. Looking to use the ladder as a weapon. Puts it down. Goes for a DDT. Can't land it. Back in the ring comes Kevin Wade. But Wade going to take to the top rope. And now look at White Wolf sent to the outside of the ring. Matthew Grantland getting beat up as well. Isaac Rowe is on his feet. Cross body from Wade. Solomon gets dropped down by Ludog. Again with the ladder across the midsection. Ludog goes to Roa. Oh, arm breaker there from Matthew Grantland. And Roa, oh, I think Roa was going for a suicide dive, but Ludog again using the ladder as a weapon. Again knocked down, though, by Solomon. Or, sorry, by Peyton Cash. Peyton Cash. What? Oh, not the ladder! Final statement on the ladder! White Wolf! DDT to Ludog! You're kidding, after the final statement on the ladder, he gets met with a DDT as well. And now Peyton trying to find a way to use the ladder as a weapon. Oh, uses it this time again. On Ludog, slamming the steel right into his flesh. Again using the weapon. White Wolf in trouble, but White Wolf takes the ladder away. The Wolf Pack on the ring. Back elbow reversal there from Peyton Cash. Forearm to the face. White Wolf back elbow delivered to White Wolf. And now Peyton Cash going to send the White Wolf to the outside of the ring. Now Tevin Walker's got the ladder in the ring. Oh, Tevin eats a right hand, though, from Matthew Grantland. Wait a second. Matthew Grantland's alone in the ring. Tevin Walker back up, though. And Grantland's going to send him to the outside of the ring. You're kidding me. Are the Wolf Pack going to become two-time tag team champions? Matthew Grantland with his hands on the title. In comes Isaac Rowe. Is it too little too late, though? Is it too little too late? It's too little too late. The Wolf Pack are two-time tag team champions. What a match. What a showing. The Wolf Pack have done it. Holy, what a match. What a win. Congratulations, Matthew Grantland and White Wolf. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Are you ready for the main event? Oh, baby. Here we go. It has been a nearly four-hour stream at this point. A nearly four-hour stream. And we are just now getting our bathroom break. <laughs> Holy, the longest entrance of the CMU. Here comes your billionaire king, Steve. Taylor! Wolfpack Matthew Greatland says, see you later, con man. We'll see you later, buddy. Congratulations on winning the tag team title. Thank you so much for your support on this channel recently. I'm glad you had a fun time here, buddy. Whew. What a match that ladder match was. 
But before we get into our main event, if you have not done so, please make sure you do leave a like on this video. Also making sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you guys really would like to, you can show your support through a Super Chat donation. Uh, this took a long time to put together. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it. This will be our final episode of the CMU until May 6th, okay? At May 6th, we will resume the CMU, but we are going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus from it. I got to move. I will be moving on May 1st, so we'll be taking care of that and resume the CMU at that later time. We shouldn't miss any other streams other than the Friday Night Smackdown before I move. So on April 30th when I, you know, the end of the month. Other than that, we shouldn't miss any other streams. But here comes the Billionaire King, Steve Taylor. Once again inside the cell, he says. Yes, that's, that is correct. He's been in this cell a few times, hasn't he? But are you ready for the world champion? Get your bets in. Do either vote Steve, or sorry, bet Steve 5 or bet Vega 5. Yeah. But it's time for our champ. We go hard all day, all night. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Raul Kapar says, I'm going to be watching, or I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this match, watching it really closely. Well, you should, man. You're the number one contender for the world title. That's a reality. That That's a fact. You have a future world title match. That's a fact. I'm glad you enjoyed it there, STW Jack. Really glad you enjoyed it. But this world heavyweight title match inside Hell in a Cell is our main event of the evening. I hope you have enjoyed over three hours of this stream. We're closing in on almost four, but this main event has a little bit of time still to go. Leave that like. Show your support through a Super Chat donation. If you'd like your comment highlighted as well, you can show your support through a Super Chat donation. Keep it dirty. Keep it gritty. Christian Vega says, my first con mania. Is it true? Is that true? It must be, right? Yeah. What a year you've had. Once again, do either bet Steve 5 or bet Vega 5. Here is your official announcements. Introducing the challenger from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 211 pounds, the king, Steve. Taylor. There's the billionaire king, Steve Taylor. Introducing the champion from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, weighing in at 227 pounds. He is the world heavyweight champion, Christian. <sighs> All right. So Peyton Cash, thank you so much, my man. He says... Good games to the Wolfpack. We will be back for those titles. Just you wait. Convict out. Message sent from the trustful one, Peyton Cash. Thank you so much, my friend, for your support. I hope you enjoyed the match, regardless of your loss. Hope you had a lot of fun watching it. And I hope you guys are having fun watching. But here we go. It's our main event. Vega versus Taylor. World heavyweight title inside hell in a cell. To the wolf pack. Referee rings we the bell, and here we go, Christian titles. Vega. Just you wait, convict out. Christian Vega starts with a hard clothesline there against the billionaire king, Steve Taylor. Now waiting for him to get back up to his feet. Back elbow delivered, but he misses that one in crucifix. Oh my god, Steve Taylor going for a quick victory. Count of one, kick out by Vega. 
Now Christian Vega, side Russian leg sweep here to Steve Taylor. Steve Taylor moves out of the way, but now a float over. DDT puts him down right on his crown. And remember, that crown sticks to the bald head of Steve Taylor. He's got super glue made from, uh, from really, really expensive glue, we'll say. Deep in the hills of the Himalayas, this glue is found. You can find it nowhere else. You actually have to process the slime of a snail in order to get this type of super glue that Steve Taylor has on his head. It's very expensive, only fit for a king. There we go, back elbow, or not a back elbow, a punch to the face, couldn't connect. Steve Taylor dodges that one, and now Steve Taylor looking to send him into the corner. Form to the face, down he goes, Steve Taylor lining up, clubbing blow to the back of the head. And Steve signaling to the crowd that your king is here and just gonna work on the arms. Oh, uppercut, clothesline, misses that one, slap to the face. Steve Taylor just slapped Christian Vega on his face. <laughs> Are you okay? You're just rambling on about glue. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Nice back body drop. Wait a second, Christian Vega closing in on the win. Vega. Looking for the Vegas Clash, no way! Christian Vega, Vegas Clash, Christian! Vegas Clash delivered, he's gonna turn over into the cover! That might be enough, count of one, count of two! Kick out by Steve Taylor! Oh, so close, and Steve just dropped on his back. Vegas hit his best move at this point, but Steve Taylor with a shoulder tackle puts him down into the mat. And Steve is not done yet. Back up to his... Steve with a knee shot to the outside of the ring and down goes Vega. Vega just got rocked and sent to the outside of the cage. Well, I guess they're still in the cage, technically speaking. Outside of the ring. Now a form from Vega. Another form. Now we're on the outside of the cage. Who's going to get sent into the steel? First, it's going to be Christian who tastes the steel on his flesh. And now back inside the ring, Steve Taylor sends him. Steve Taylor, forearms across the face, clubbing down the world heavyweight champion. Steve Taylor eats the back elbow from Vega. Vega, kick to the midsection, turns him around, deep neck breaker again. And Christian Vega is really holding his own during this matchup so far. But Christian Vega gets jaw break reversal from Steve Taylor. Steve Taylor again, gut wrench, down he goes. Vega, now being lifted back up to his feet. What a feud this has been. Steve Taylor, the Royal Rumble winner, looking to capture the World Heavyweight title. Can he do it yet again? Steve Taylor off the back heel kick goes down to the cover. That might be enough. Count of two, but Christian Vega stays alive as this Hell in a Cell match does continue. Steve Taylor, no, Steve! Billionaire's toss. We might be seeing the, you're kidding me. No way, not like this, not already. Into the billionaire's clutch. The clutch is in. Taylor's got it locked in deep. Christian Vega's got to find a way out of this. Christian Vega though leans back out of it. Beautiful move from Vega to reverse that. Christian Vega now goes for a kick to the midsection. Steve Taylor though got countered. Plumbing blow, down goes Steve. Now Wrench is on the neck yet again of Mr. Steve Taylor. What else does Vega have up his sleeve? He's already hit the Vegas Clash. Now he's gonna go for it again. Going for the second time. Christian Vega going for his finishing move. Christian Vega goes for the Vegas Clash, but he can't deliver it. Shot right there, and there's a shot to the midsection from Steve Taylor. Boot from the Billionaire King, and he just busted Christian Vega wide open. We got blood in our main event. Uppercut, though, from Vega. Vega now with a punch to the face, blocked again by Steve Taylor. Steve, no! Billionaire's clutch again! In the clutch again, but Vega finds a way out of it one more time. Kick right to the middle of the back. Steve Taylor does not want to be there. Vega has him up on his shoulders. Oh! Stomp right there. Christian, kick, kick. Follows it up with a little southpaw to the face of the king. Steve's in trouble after that straight left hand to the face. Count of two, kick out by Steve Taylor. 
Great matchup here, but Vega loading it up yet again. Vega looking for Vega's clash. Vega going for it, but Steve Taylor reversed Vega's clash. Oh. Vega has him up and drops him down. What a matchup in our main event. I hope you guys have had an amazing time watching along. So far here tonight, what has been your favorite matchup? Let me know in the live chat. But Vega just waiting for Taylor to get back up to his feet. Watching him on back elbow from Steve catches him in the jaw. Steve Taylor going to go for a hard Irish whip over the top and into the cage goes Vega. Christian Vega's in trouble as Steve Taylor just sent the man over the top rope. There's a knee to the midsection. Vega does not want to be there. Steve Taylor going for, wait a second, what's Taylor going for? A power, oh my God! Through the side of the cage! Steve Taylor just sent Christian Vega crashing through the steel. Are you kidding me? Vega's fighting, Vega's fighting back. Right hand outside of the stage. No, oh my God, we're outside of the cage. Right hands, left hands from the southpaw going at Steve Taylor and just throws the billionaire to the ground. We are outside of the cage. But Taylor now with an elbow to the midsection. How are they going to get back in there? Right hands as Vega continues to throw more. Taylor with a right elbow to the side of the head. Now a forearm back goes Vega as we go back around towards the announce tables. Vega with a left hand again. Man, this southpaw is firing everything he's got. Some more left hands towards the billionaire bitch. Now some more right hands, left hands, and a clubbing blow to the back of the head. Steve Taylor eats that right hand. Another... Another right hand from Vega as Vega just sends the king down. It's almost like Christian Vega got enraged by getting sent through the side of the cage. But Taylor continues to beat his ass. Down, no, eats a form. Back we go. Back elbow from Steve Taylor. Christian Vega eats another right hand. Oh my God, Vega with another right hand to Steve Taylor. This is a brawl, guys. What a main event. Oh, and clubbing blow puts down Steve Taylor. Kick to the chest, kick to the chest again from Christian Vega. Another left hand. Oh my God, the right hand to Taylor. And Taylor now fires back with his own right hand. Another right hand delivered to Christian Vega. And back around the cage we go. Back elbow delivered from Vega. This is back and forth, man. High action here tonight as Christian Vega sends Steve Taylor down to the ground. Now lifts him back up to his feet. Christian Vega sends Taylor down to the ground yet again. Wait, no! Are we going up the cage? Vega says, come and get me. Come and get me, Steve Taylor. Here comes Steve. Oh my God, we're going up the cage. You gotta be kidding me. We're going up the side of the cage. Steve Taylor following suit. Christian Vega. Up to the top of the cage first. Steve Taylor, though, in hot pursuit. Steve, up there. Oh, my God, somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to get hurt. Christian Vega and Steve Taylor on top of the cage. Oh, Vega almost fell off the cage. Steve Taylor, though, back elbow again. Vega in trouble. Reversal there from Christian Vega. Punch right there to the face. Another punch to the face. And down goes Steve Taylor on top of the cage. Are you kidding me? What is about to happen? Right hand. Another right hand blocked by Steve Taylor with a left. Steve, form, another form, three forearms as Steve Taylor looks to take him down. Nice maneuver. Vega reverses that from Steve. Punch the face, Steve Taylor in trouble. Christian Vega, wait a second. Oh my God, Vega, DDT, oh my God. Through the cage, through the cage. Vega just dropped him 20 feet. Right hand, backstabber to Taylor. It's over. It has to be over. One, two, three. Christian Vega retains his world heavyweight title. Oh, my God. What an ending. Vega's done it. He is still your world heavyweight champion. Good God almighty, he's done it. And after Con Mania, it certainly seems like Raul Kapar versus Christian Vega is gonna go down. What an incredible moment 
Congratulations, Christian. Congratulations on your first win at Con Mania. Congratulations on the title retained. And congratulations to all who have retained or won their titles tonight. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on May 6th for the next edition of the CMU. Holy moly, everybody. <laughs> we have gotten through Con Mania. And we're on the other side. I am so sorry to my downstairs neighbors. I bet you they can't wait for me to move out. I'm so sorry to them. <laughs> but, wow. What a fun show, my friends. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching. I really do. If you did, please make sure you leave a like on this video. Also making sure you are subscribed to the channel. I don't know what else to say, everybody. Come join our Discord server. Chat along in it if you guys want to talk some more about the CMU. But we will be back. We will be back, my friends. We will be back. Thank you for watching the CMU. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, leave that like. Join our Discord. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Conman167. And oh yeah, that was the CMU Con Mania. We're back on May 6th. Till then, take care. Woo! See you guys, thank you for watching. I'm out of here.